even now, after all these years, I still wait. Come on already. Stretch those red strings out to me, and finish this. The world is out of time. You need to kill me, if there's going to be anything left worth saving. The virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Systems all green. Beginning SAS cable connection. Seems like you're okay. This aptitude test will determine your platoon assignment. Do your best. Yes, sir! Kasane Randall. Identity confirmed. The other suppression force aptitude test will now begin. Exterminate all others. Okay, that ends your training. You're an official member of the OSF from tomorrow. Cadets now have 24 hours of free time until then. Make sure to get some rest before your duties tomorrow. Understood. So, how was the test? Pretty easy as usual. How about you? I was able to handle an actual SAS connection thanks to your advice. You have a lot of potential. You should be more confident. I'm just glad you were so calm. You said that you had that dream again. The dream about red strings. You've been having that dream since you were little. Yes. Don't take your hands off the red strings. I wonder if it has something to do with your power. I don't think it does from what I saw of the OSF's analysis of my power. Worrying about things we don't understand won't change anything. I'm more worried about you. I hope they put us in the same unit. Yeah. Me too. I bet we'll find out soon, though. People tend to misunderstand you, so I'd be worried if I weren't around to look after you. Look who's talking. You're so clumsy, I have to stick around to protect you from yourself. <sighs> That's so mean! <laughs> hey, aren't we going to Sumeragi Tomb after this? Oh yeah! They're doing a collaboration with Baki right now. You get a keychain with every fortune. <laughs> I can't wait. You really like Baki, don't you? Of course I do. He's so cute. Come on, let's go.
There are a lot of people here. Well, the holidays just ended, and this is the Founding Father Yakumo Sumeragi's tomb. Wait, the collaboration event with Baki is at a gravesite? I think the country is trying to make Yakumo Sumeragi feel more like a familiar figure to us. Though people already pray to Yakumo like a god, so maybe they're familiar enough with him already. Yakumo, the hero who saved humanity. I think I saw him in one of my textbooks. He was wearing a mask. His face was injured during the Spring of Extinction. He's also the chairman's ancestor. That reminds me, I heard someone from the Sumeragi family is in our class. So? Anyway, I found where we can draw our fortune. My fortune is a really good one. I'm starting to feel better about my life in the OSF. What about you? Mine is horrible. Okay, then give me your fortune. Hey! Here, you can have my good fortune. You didn't have to do that. It's just a scrap of paper. I'm the big sister here. I just want to protect you from bad luck. Thank you. No problem. You know, on days like this, you could almost forget there are vicious others out there. Yes, but we live in a world where these others roam freely outside the city walls. The instructors are expecting a lot from you. They're sure you'll reach a rank near Septentrion in no time at all. I don't care about rank. I just want to protect you. Honestly, what did I just say? I'm your big sister. I'm the one who's going to be protecting you. <laughs> of course. Hey, I mean it. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking that the boy on the right was kind of cute. Really? They both look like they were OSF members. You might get a chance to talk to him when we get in. <gasps> you think so? That would be nice. Anyway, we got the Baki keychain we came for. Want to get a bite somewhere? Yes. Let's look for a cafe. Others? An other alert? But today's other forecast said that there was no threat in this part of Suo. <sighs> They're landing here in the city. All units, double time! Who wants the second wave through? Fire! Transfer warning. They're deploying the Scarlet Guardians. <laughs> Septentry on Karin and Fubuki. The Major Generals Karin Travers and Fabuki Spring. Karin Regiment, Fabuki Regiment, Plan A, roll out. Civilians, head to the shelter. They're Septentrions, so we should let them handle this. Let's get to the shelter. Oh, right. Let's hurry. Defeated with one blow, Septentrion First Class, Brain Eater Major General Karin Travers is amazing! Brain Eater? So he eats brains like those others? No, his power copies the powers of other psionics. 
That's why he can use so many different powers. The other is fighting back, but Major General Travers is unfazed. Major General Spring freezes the other without hesitation. These Septentrions are amazing. This isn't the time to be watching TV. We have to evacuate. Somebody help! Look out! It's too dangerous. We're not real OSF yet. We can't just leave that person to die. We're the only ones here with the powers to fight others. If you want to save her, then let me do it. I'm going too! Fine. You take the right, I'll take the left. Got it! <gasps> Kasane! It's them! The guys I saw at Sumeragi Tomb! <gasps> seconds from now. Yeah, they're in trouble. Even I can tell. You take care of the guy who got knocked down just now. I can handle that other alone. Got it. That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. Oh. You're OSF? Oh, no, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh. Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. Good work. That should take care of all the other readings around here. Yes. Kasane! I saved that boy! Nagi! You're okay! Yeah, Naomi saved me. Man, I must look like an idiot. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Thanks, sis. Oh, you two are sisters? Yeah, they're both OSF cadets like us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nagi Carmen. This is Yuito Sumeragi. I'm Naomi. Naomi Randall. This is my younger sister. Kasane Randall. So it was you making all that trouble. The Scarlet Guardians have eradicated the others! Huh? You saved Ryujin Ward in that amazing victory over the others. What? Uh, well... What is this? A victory interview? It is. How do you feel? What? We should be able to talk here. Uh, what's going on? I'm Luca Travers. You're Septentrion 6th Class Luca Travers? It's embarrassing when you put it that way, but yes, that's correct. Are you all cadets? 
Please open your personal port so I can confirm your identities. No objections? Thank you. So all four of you are OSF cadets. Cadets aren't allowed to fight others. I... I'm sorry. Isn't OSF responsible for allowing others to enter the local airspace and putting civilians in danger? Kasane! You shouldn't say something like that! Those are some harsh words. But you're right, Cadet Kasane Randall. I'm sure you all have something to say. But first, report to OSF headquarters. Keep away from the press. Got it? Understood. What's that? Oh, casualties from the battle. Two OSF troopers on guard duty were killed. I think it's censored, but it's best not to look too close. Huh? Why? Because others eat human brains. Yes. Looking at headless bodies can have negative lasting effects on your mental health. Oh, I just imagined it. They should teleport or report them out. It's too far to the morgue and powers aren't omnipotent. We have time, so let's talk a little. I'm sure you know, but one person can only use one type of power. But each kind of power has peculiarities and aptitude. Just as there are types of powers, each person has strengths and weaknesses. To use them in combat, we must rely on devices to lessen the stress on the brain. That's why things that can be accomplished without powers, or things with low priority, are done manually. Right, sorry. Now then, I'll be going. That'd be us if we didn't get the others first. I wouldn't let that happen. We're all 567th class, right? We'll stick together and become great fighters. Y yeah Don't worry. I'll protect you, sis. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Yuito. Nagi. What's wrong? Why didn't we go with them to headquarters? Because we can't. Those two are nothing but trouble. We should stay away from them. But... Are you interested in that Yuito guy? Well, I did think he was cute when I saw him at Sumeragi Tomb. I see. Then I'll check him out. Stay away from him until then. Check him? He's a Sumeragi. Sumeragi? You know, the chairman of the council? Oh, so he's the chairman's son. That will make him easy to check out. Kasane... You don't pay enough attention to things, so let me do this. Let's go back to headquarters for now. Oh, wait. Your hair clip is crooked. Huh? Let me fix this for you. There. That's better. Th thanks No, thank you for putting it on. I know you don't really like things like this. I like anything you make for me. This shows that we're sisters, right? Yeah, it's just for the two of us. You better take good care of it. Hey, there are those cadets. You must be cadets Naomi and Kasane Randall. That was an amazing fight against those others. Huh? Just ignore them. Let's go. You're still just cadets, weren't you afraid? Your father is the CEO of Randall Industries. Was it his idea for you to become cadets? Talk about femme fatales right here. You. You're that Kasane Randall. So what if I am? Kasane, don't be so cross. Ah, uh, come on, Shiden. That's not how you make friends. Captain Seto? I, I wasn't... First things first, I need to take care of this right now. You're cadets Naomi and Kasane Randall, right? I'm Seto Narukami, 2nd Regiment, 8th Platoon. Septentrion 7th Class Captain Seto Narukami? Hmm? Oh, you've heard of me. Yeah, that's what they call me. The Chief Sumeragi has asked to see both of you. Hurry to his office immediately. 
Chief Sumeragi. Is he related to Yuito Sumeragi? He's Yuito's older brother. Oh, right. You fought alongside Yuito Sumeragi. I'm sure you'll quickly come to realize that the Chief is stricter than his little brother. He's probably gonna chew you out for fighting without orders while cadets, but getting yelled at's part of your job. You'll be fine. I think you did a good job, though. Let's welcome our new members for this year. Kasane, Naomi, introduce yourselves. Kasane Randall, my power is psychokinesis. Pleased to meet you. Is that all? You seem shyer than I thought. All right, next. Yes, ma'am. I'm Naomi Randall. I'm Kasane's older sister, and my power is precognition. I can only see the immediate future, though. I'll do my best to help everyone out. I don't have much experience, but I'm glad to be here. That was a very good introduction, Naomi. The Randall sisters are our new members. Kasane graduated at the top of her class, and Naomi was fifth. They're both intelligent and very talented. That being said, they're just little ducklings who barely have their footing, so you all need to help them out. Now I'd like to welcome Shiden, who transferred from Kodama Platoon. Please introduce yourself. Shiden Ritter. My power is electrokinesis. I don't plan on being your friend. <laughs> Looks like you're still in your rebellious phase. What? Let's see. Gemma, you know Shiden, right? He's stubborn, so he didn't fit in with Kodama Platoon. But he's a real hard worker. Everyone be nice to him. T don't make fun of me! No one's making fun of you. I know you'll be nervous at first, but try to get along with everyone. We're a family here in Kyoka Platoon. Think of me as your mother. You can talk to me about anything. <sighs> oh, right. I guess I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kyoka Eden, and my power is duplication. I'm leader of the 8th Company of the 1st Regiment, and commander of 1st Platoon. Everyone else, introduce yourselves. Gimma Garrison. My power is Scalerokinesis. Nice to meet you. I guess there are no volunteer soldiers here. Volunteer soldiers? People that joined the OSF because they wanted to, not because they were scouted. They're trash compared to scouts like us. Shiden, I won't have discrimination like that in my platoon. 
It's not discrimination. It's just a distinction. Take it back. Sorry. Um, I guess I'm last? I'm Haruka Frazier. My power is telepathy. Nice to meet all of you. Good. Now that everyone's been introduced, it's time for your on-the-job training. We'll be operating in teams of two. Kasane and Shiden, Gemma and Naomi, connect your SAS. I'll support everyone as commander. We'll rendezvous at Mizu Hagawa in one hour. Dismissed. Hey, Kasane. I'm team leader. Got that? I'm worried. What? You don't think I have what it takes? Huh? What are you yelling about? What? You... Sorry, but I'm going to get myself on a different team. Where does a new scout like you get the gall to make fun of me? Are you an idiot? What? <laughs> Kasane! We're all in the same platoon, so we have to get along. Sorry about that, Shiden. Why are you apologizing? I'm just worried about being separated from you. I'll go ahead and talk to the Major. Kasane, despite my looks, I'm the commander here. I'm much stronger than you, so don't worry. Also, from what I saw of her results, Naomi is a great fighter. You should believe in her. Understood, Major. Good. Remember to be nice to Shiden. Let's go, Naomi. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's connect our SAS. I'm the leader. What? You have a hearing problem? No! Good. Let's go, and don't fall behind. We're going to Mizu Hagawa. You little... Kasane, hold up a second. You're Haruka, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. I have a message for you concerning bias. Seems like I missed you in the original communication. Sorry. Bias? It's the name of a brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. It's being developed by the OSF. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system. You've been chosen as one of them. It's still in development, so it's unstable and they're not sure of the side effects. So they want me to be a guinea pig. What am I supposed to do? I'm glad you catch on quick. Well, it's in order, so you can't refuse anyways. Try starting it up. I think it finished installing along with other systems. Is this it? Nothing really changed. The system is working in your brain, using your power to make visions visible. Powers are just the ability to visualize in the end. They get stronger the more you focus on them. SAS connection should be smoother as well. Unfortunately, the pain never gets any better. I got the gist of it. I just need to keep it activated at all times. Also, this is just a rumor, but I thought you should know. Some say bias can cause people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So take it easy. Tell me right away if you notice anything strange. Sure, I'll tell you if I do. Sorry to take your time. Don't be late for your mission. See ya. An experiment. I wonder if it'll work. Well, worrying about it won't change anything. The rendezvous was at Mizu Hagawa. I'll head out when I'm ready. Everyone's here. Major Eden, may I ask a question? Oh, Naomi. We call each other by our first names in the OSF. Don't be so formal. No one looks their age here. And our ranks? They're just words on paper. The OSF only recognizes strength. I don't like to say we judge on strength alone, but that's mostly how it is. So, what was your question? Right. Haruka isn't here yet. I wonder if something happened. Haruka is our platoon's operator. She directs us from the back with telepathy. 
Can you hear me? I'm able to communicate telepathically within a 500 kilometer radius without the system's assistance. It's draining though, so I need you to join the group. Naomi, Kasane, open your personal ports. The team leaders are Naomi and... Oh, Kasane? That's awfully nice of you, Shiden, letting the new scout be leader. No, I... I thought it would be best this way, so I volunteered. Huh? Well, well. <laughs> it's big of you to go along with that, Shiden. <sighs> okay, let's get this mission on the road. Follow Haruka's navigation to the specified goal. Take out any and all others you see along the way. If you decide not to fight, I authorize you to retreat. That's all. Copy that. Okay, be careful. Don't provoke Sheedan too much. The new Urban Development Ward? What a boring assignment. It doesn't matter if a mission is boring or not. You're such an idiot. No real others come out here. It's the perfect place to train cadets. When your power gets as strong as mine. What's that drone? Oh man, they found us even though we were jamming them. Major Kyoka, crows. What? I didn't know we had any crow bait with us. Crows? Do you mean the press? They're probably after little Miss Randall. She's a hero that saves civilians. No, Kadama Platoon is in the restricted area farther in. They're probably here for Arashi. Poor Arashi. Always surrounded by crows. <laughs> I finally got out of Kodama Platoon, but I still end up fighting along with them? Listen up, everyone. I know the crows will be in your way, but try not to get distracted. Wow! Team Kasane is first to the goal! Uh, Team Shiden would have been first, too. Shh! Something's here. Good one. You picked up on the other before I did. Wait a minute! This one's a major other! Major? Gemma? A major other has appeared at the objective. Major others are others that killed OSF members in the past. Yes. Here it comes. I'll intercept. We'll be there in a few minutes. Just hold on. Contact with a major other. Don't overdo it, Kasane. Shiden, follow her lead. <laughs> now we're talking. Hope you're ready to see how strong I am. Quit barking, then. It's time to show me some bite. <laughs> Did we do it? think you're doing? I can protect myself, thank you very much. Victory! The Scarlet Guardians have won! <laughs> the hero of this fight is, of course, Second Lieutenant Kasane Randall, who took down a major other on her first assignment. Congratulations, Lieutenant Randall. Let's hear what she has to say. How do you feel? <sighs> you must be tired. Your first victory on your first deployment. Isn't that satisfying? She didn't give all the orders. Ask him about it. What? So sorry I'm late. That was a good fight. Oh dear. Poor Shiden. This is Arashi. Sorry, looks like you caught the crow's attention. Arashi! You're right, they got Sheedan. We'll take them. That's not like you. Kodama gets depressed if there are no crows around. Hi! 
Captain Arashi Spring. We're about to do a full sweep for others. Looking forward to seeing all you reporters there. Oh, they're finally gone. Let's go back to Suo, everyone. Copy that. Is that Yuito? Looks like he's in Seto Platoon. Damn. Why did he get in Seto Platoon? Good work today, everyone. We had some trouble, but nobody got hurt. So it was a good day. Your assignment for today is over. Your next orders will be sent directly from the higher-ups. You can't deny a deployment order. So go to the designated place and time and carry them out. Suppression missions and training can be taken on as you please. You should think about participating if you have the free time. Oh, Seto. The pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi. Good job today. Kyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes, we got a bunch of cuties again this year. So I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait. What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you all right? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Uh, thank you. Uh. Kyoka Platoon. Everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh, Kasane? What? Um, have we... Met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh, so, you have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> you're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Are you done talking to them? Major, what do you think of him? Him? You mean Yuito? Hmm. I didn't actually hear the full details, but rumor has it that Major General Karin has his eye on him. I see. That doesn't tell me if he's good enough for Naomi or not. Well, let's go back to headquarters. We have to let Haruka know we're returning. I'll go with you, Kasane. I'm leaving now. Oh, Kodama. I thought you were in Mizuhagawa. <laughs> I just got back. Are you taking care of the rookies, Kyoka? Good work, Kyoka. You're an excellent mentor, so I'm sure the rookies will feel comfortable with you. It's an honor to hear that from you, Major General Fubuki. You must be Kasane and Naomi. I'm sorry the crow showed up on your first mission. Why are you apologizing, Major General Fubuki? Those crows were actually out there for Arashi. So I guess you could say I feel responsible. I see. I saw your grades from the Academy. You both have great powers. I'm sure you'll hear a lot from outsiders. But do your best and don't let that distract you. I'm counting on you. That was good, you two. <laughs> that was great, Kasane. Good for us? Major General Fubuki is Septentry on second class. It's so cool that he said he was counting on us. If you say so. Since he acknowledged you, I guess Major General Fubuki is a good man. Welcome back. I saw the Major through the window, so I thought I'd come meet you. The mission is complete now that we've notified Haruka. You're free to do as you please now. You can train or go on a suppression mission, whatever you want. Of course, resting is part of your job too. But just sitting around will dampen your skills, so don't get too comfortable.
I'll head out. I'll go too, Major. Me too. All right. If that's what you want. Kasane, you come with me. Naomi, you help Haruka support us. I want to go too. No, you can't. Did someone from my family talk to you? No. You're still tired from training today. I just think you need some rest. Kasane is still good to go. You understand, right? Yes. All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. Come out wherever you are. You're a nasty one. Kakuro, we're here to help. Major Kyoka, you're a lifesaver. This is getting out of control. Here we go, Kasane. Understood. Thanks, you two. I guess you could say you're my guardian angels. What are you doing here? I just... well... I thought I saw an other I was looking for around here. I came alone to check and then this happened. How embarrassing. Anyway, we have to look for my commander. Apparently he lured away this crazy other when he came to help me. Captain Seto... is he here too? He is. I'm sorry, but can you do one more favor for me? I can't leave my commander behind. Yes, let's go after him. He's a Septentrion, so he can't be killed that easily, but better to be safe. a Septentrion for you. Kyoka! And is that Kagero and Kasane? It's not safe around here. It looks like the other's numbers are growing around Togetsu. Kasane! You're so cool, Captain. I think I might be falling for you. Oh, what a man. Knock it off. Your praise never sounds genuine. Are you hurt, Kasane? Oh, no, I'm fine. Good, I'm glad. Oh, that's not good. Your back is bleeding, Seto. It's just a scratch. You got that defending me. I'm sorry. No, this is my fault. Don't worry about it. Let me see. This is bad, Captain. We need to treat this. This place isn't safe. Luca could move us if he were here. Um, there's an emergency shelter near here that the Randall family used to use when they traveled to Togetsu. It will be safe there. I'll send you the coordinates. Oh, that's good. Captain? Major Kyoka? Let's go. Sorry. I'll show you the way. So this is the Randall Shelter Unit. Rich people even have comfy shelters. This is a nice place. We could get a lot of work done if we used it as a hideout. A hideout? What do you mean? Oh, you haven't heard yet. Each team has a safe house outside of headquarters that we call hideouts. We use them as relay points if someone is hurt far from headquarters, and when we need to resupply or rest during missions. They're basically secret bases. Hey, could we use this place as Kyoka Platoon's hideout? 
You say some crazy things sometimes, Major Kyoka. This safe house is civilian owned? I don't mind. The Randalls have more safe houses than they know what to do with. I found the first aid kit. Captain Seto, I'll patch you up. Please show me your back. The wound was pretty deep. I'm glad we found a first aid station. Sorry to bother you with it. You haven't treated many wounds, have you? Did I do something wrong? No, you just looked a little unsteady. Your hands were shaking. You're not just the cold hard warrior I thought you were. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, Captain Seto. I've never really done this before. I'm usually the one that gets hurt. My sister is much better at this than I am. Oh my, so little Miss Randall is a tomboy. Actually, I'm adopted, so I don't count as a member of the Randall family. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Well, all families have their problems. I'm an immigrant from Togetsu and joined the OSF as an adult. It's, uh, complicated. As an adult? Someone scouted to the OSF much later in life. The elites treat us just as badly as the volunteer soldiers. Come on now, I don't treat you that badly, Kagero. That's why I love you, Captain. There you go again. Anyway, thanks for fixing me up, Kasane. You're welcome. Since we're here, we should probably get some rest. Seto shouldn't be moving until the bleeding has stopped. All right, time to get some shut-eye. Weren't you saying you were looking for another? Did you find it? What do you mean, did you find it? How could I? I was attacked by two major others. Oh, I see. Well, if you're going to act like that, then how about you do something for me? What? W what do you want? You know the fountain pen I got as a gift from Major General Karin when I was made a Septentrion? I think I dropped it somewhere in Kikuchiba. Uh, you mean that really expensive looking platinum decorated fountain pen? That's the one. Think you can help me buy a new one with your savings? Captain, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I'm kidding. I shouldn't have been walking around with something so important, but it bothers me not having it. What a mess. Hmm? What's wrong, Kasane? Oh, nothing. This was the first time someone got hurt because of me. I said don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna get some rest. It's Naomi Randall. I'm coming in. Thank you for coming all this way. Sorry you had to go shopping just because I got hurt. Don't worry about it. This unit hasn't been used in a long time, so it's out of a lot of things. I apologize for the inconvenience. There's nothing for you to apologize about. That's right. We're the ones who just barged in here. Thanks, sis. Don't mention it. I'm so happy you trusted me with this. Aren't you being too easy on your little sister? Maybe, but she's so cute I could just eat her up. Naomi... <sighs> Must be nice. Oh, Sheedon, you don't have to look so sad. I think you're cute, too. <laughs> what makes you think I was sad? <laughs> I'm glad you're getting along with your new platoon so well, Sheedon. Hey, I know you requested to transfer to my team. I'm sorry we couldn't take you. Captain Seto. A transfer request? If you can do that, maybe Naomi and I can transfer together. Hmm. And then what? I guess things are fine the way they are. Uh, Captain Seto? What is it, Kasane? It's, um... Sorry, it's nothing. I don't know what to talk about. This has never happened before. Major, there's a matter I wish to... Oh, Kasane. We're not on a mission. You don't need to call me Major. Are you sure? Yes. Let's forget about our ranks when we're in private. Just speak freely. Okay, in that case... Kyoka, there's something I want to talk to you about. Sure. Ask me anything. Are you feeling sick? 
Or is there some problem you're struggling with? No, I was just wondering if you could give me some advice on combat, like you did when I was a cadet. You're quite formidable as it is. I don't think there's anything you need to change about your fighting style. Hmm. Oh, there is another important element when it comes to combat other than powers or strategies. It's luck. Luck? Yes. I think it's important to maintain good luck to avoid unforeseen accidents. I know. Let me give you something. It's a protective charm I got recently that's really special. It'll protect you from danger. I don't really want it, but it'd be rude to refuse. I'll just take it for now and put it away somewhere. You have to keep it on you all the time, during battles and even your everyday life. It won't be effective otherwise. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad I was able to give you that charm. Now I won't have to worry when I can't be there with you. Kyoka, I have a favor to ask you. Could you not be so nice to me? What? What do you mean by that? You've always taken care of me as my superior officer since my days at the Academy. But we're both in the OSF together now. I want you to look at me like an equal, instead of someone in constant need of taking care of. I guess I have been a little too overprotective. And I don't think I can accept this protection charm. It'll get in the way during battle. What? I see. My charm... is a nuisance. I see. I didn't think she'd get this upset. <sighs> Was it too much? How come you always look after everyone in the platoon? I didn't have a family when I was growing up. That's why I consider my OSF platoon my family. But as long as you keep fighting in the OSF, you can't avoid goodbyes. It hurt me every time I've lost a friend in battle. <sighs> I was so concerned about never wanting to go through the pain again. I've become overly sensitive about losing my friends. I'm sorry for pushing my selfish feelings on you. I'm sure you don't need that extra burden. I guess to her, everyone in the platoon is like what Naomi is to me. Family. I guess I understand how you feel now. That doesn't bother me at all. Look after us all you want, if that's what makes you happy. Do what you need to do. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me so happy. You've grown so much. This still seems like overkill, but there's no real harm in taking it. I know. Would you take this protection charm too? I hear that having two will double the benefits. I think one is enough. Kasane, are you having trouble with anything? Not particularly. Oh, that's good then. You always were a good student. Just tell me if anything comes up. Don't work too hard. Yuito wants to see me? Perfect. I'll need to see for myself if he's worthy of my sister. I also might be able to find Captain Seto's fountain pen in Kikuchiba. Hey, you came. Thank you. Now, about my message. I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry, let me just say something first. Hmm? What is it? Is there anyone you like? What? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on. Why are you asking me that? He'll take advantage of Naomi if he figures out how she feels. Who wouldn't be thrilled to be liked by her? I'm running a background check. Is that the reason? Is that why you agreed to see me? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. 
his fountain pen? Now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? Why? I wonder. So even you like to ask too many questions. Huh? Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen. I guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. That was unexpected. I think he might be able to protect Naomi. Hey, I have something I want to ask you, too. Is that alright? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. <sighs> Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you? This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? How is someone he met as a child wearing an accessory my sister made? Is his present mixing with his childhood memories? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams too. No, I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. That's not possible. There must be a misunderstanding. Maybe he suffers from delusions. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. He's not ready to take care of my sister yet. More importantly, I need to give back Captain Seto's fountain pen. All right. Goodbye. Excuse me, Captain Seto. I came across this, and I believe it's yours. Yes, it is. Where'd you find this? I was just in Kikuchiba and happened to find it there. It was just luck. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much. This is very important to me. I'm glad to have it back. Yes. Well, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go rest. I'll be going now. That's a good idea. Rest well. I think I'm tired. I should rest. Is Kasane asleep? Yeah, she must have been beat. I guess that's to be expected. Everyone's nervous on their first day. So much happened. You're right. She looks like she has it together, but she can be awkward sometimes. By the way, Seto, you seem to be really concerned about Kasane. Yeah, sorry. She's your new scout, but I just can't get my mind off her. She reminds me of my first new scout. She was pretty awkward too. I heard. A major other... Yeah, and I couldn't protect her. I'm reminded of her every time I look at Kasane. But I might have taken it too far. I'll be more careful. I'll be taking Kagero back to Suo soon. What are you gonna do? I'll wait with Naomi for Kasane to wake up. Oh, and Seto? 
Can you take Shiden with you too? He looks up to you, so I know he'll be happy if he can go back with you. Roger. You're so popular. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, it's an honor to hear that from the prettiest girl in the OSF. All right, see you back in Suo. Don't take your hands off of the red strings. That dream again. Oh, you're awake. Perfect timing. I was just thinking we should go back to Suo. Uh, where's Captain Seto? Seto already went back to Suo. Oh, did he? Hey, Kasane! I just heard from Nagi. He said Seto Platoon is going to do a joint training exercise with Kyoka Platoon. Do you want to join in? Now that's a good idea. You should go. I'll go if you go, Naomi. If it's a training exercise, it'll be in the facility in OSF Headquarters. I'll go with you back to Suo. Bye then. Have fun training. Oh, Yuito! Great! We're all here now. Time for some three-man field exercises. The rules are simple. There will be a single flag placed on the field. The team who grabs it and reaches the goal first wins. And you'll be happy to know that your beloved Kagero has saved up his hard-earned allowance to provide the winning team with a luxurious prize. Whoa, all right. How are we dividing up the teams? A lottery system courtesy of me and implemented by Sagumi. We all draw strings and team up by color. Let's draw already. Looks like we have our teams. Let's do this, you two. Naomi and I are in different teams. Yes! Nagi, Gemma, you'll regret it if Naomi gets so much as a scratch. G got it. Don't worry, my power is specialized for defense. Sugumi, let's do our best. Okay. to be working with you, Kasane. Your power is pyrokinesis, right? I'm counting on you. <laughs> um, Sugumi is with us, too. Do you know her? Her power is clairvoyance. I know of her. Okay, let's get started. I'll be team leader. Huh? I don't care. Oh, well, if Sugumi doesn't mind, I guess that's fine. All right, Sugumi. Use your clairvoyance to find a blind spot near the goal. Huh? Why? The objective is to get the flag and cross the goal. Rather than searching around for the flag, it'll be easier to just ambush the team that finds it and take it. What? Well... I guess that's one way we could do it, but that doesn't really feel like training. I found a blind spot. I'll send the location data. Nice job. Let's go. What? Okay, we'll wait here. Sugumi, let us know when the flag holder gets within range. Copy that. Hmm. <sighs> hey, Kasane. Is it true that you fought with Yuito and Ryujin? Yuito? If you mean Yuito Sumeragi, then it's true. Um, how did that happen? I just saved him and Nagi after they were attacked by another. By the way, are you two friends? What? Oh, we were childhood friends. So you know a lot about Yuito. What kind of person is he? Can you trust him? Of course. He's friendly and kind, too. And he does cute little things like collect Baki merchandise. But why are you asking me this? Kasane, do you...? They're here. It's Yuito, Shiden, and Kagura. It's not Naomi's team? 
If they let anything happen to my sister, I swear. If she's hurt, I will crush every single one of them. <laughs> it's okay. Naomi is strong. What's next? I can shoot now and get the upper hand against them, if you want. No. Let's divide and conquer. We'll take them down without giving them the initiative. Whoa! Whoa! I lost to Yuito of all people! She's good. Hard to imagine she's a fresh scout. You really are amazing, Yuito. Damn it. We underestimated them. Hey, it's just as they say. Kasane Randall isn't messing around. Good one, Kasane. I can't take all the credit. Sugumi and Hanabi did a lot of the heavy lifting. Your team may have had some coordination issues, but I think your individual skill is still very noteworthy. <laughs> Thanks. I wasn't trying to give you a compliment. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're strange. Did I say something funny? Uh... <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but here's your prize. Good work today. Hmm? What is it? I got a message from my father. He never sends messages. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to call it a day. Thanks to everyone who participated. You're acting strange, Kagura. Hmm? What do you mean? Don't you... hate training exercises? Well, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off to the newbies. There's some real cuties this year. And you cheated drawing strings. Shh. I just wanted to team up with the new guy and see what he's got. <sighs> I wonder where Yuito is. With his performance in that training exercise, he just makes the cut to be my sister's boyfriend. I wonder what he thinks of Naomi. I should ask. I'm sure he likes her. Kasane, you have deployment orders. A large group of others has been sighted. The location is an abandoned subway. I need you to head over there right away. Copy that. What about Naomi? She's already on her way. Get your orders from the Major once Kyoko Platoon is all together. Got it. I'll worry about Yui till later. Kyoko Platoon has assembled. Thank you, Haruka. Okay, you've all heard the situation from Haruka. It looks like there's a swarm of others in these abandoned subway lines. The extinction belt has descended to lower altitudes, so now they're underground. I'm sure you all know about it, but let's confirm for the newbies. Naomi, tell me what you know about the extinction belt. It's an abnormal phenomenon that's thought to have appeared because of the spring of extinction. It's gathered near Earth's stratosphere and surrounds the planet. The others are born inside the extinction belt and have been observed descending to the Earth's surface, but not much else is known. That's right. So, you should never go near a place where the extinction belt is thick. Others could show up anywhere. It's very dangerous. Also, the extinction belt contains particles that may jam our communications. If that happens, you can only count on Haruka's telepathy. Without the help of the communicator, my telepathy will only transmit one way. Pray the communicators don't go down. I'll also have to take control of the whole company, so Gemma will be temporary platoon commander. What? Why Gemma? Shiden, if you have a complaint, we'll talk about it after this operation. Gemma, I'm counting on you. Roger. This will be a joint operation between the 7th and 8th Company from the 1st Regiment and the 1st and 2nd Company from the 2nd Regiment. This is a large-scale operation, so I need you all to refrain from going off on your own. 
Kyoka Platoon, maintain the front line and move toward Point Alpha. Shiden, Kisane, and I will connect our SAS. Naomi will support us from the rear. Move out. Understood. Understood. Kasane, stop. Kyoko Platoon has arrived at Point Alpha. Seto Platoon is two minutes behind. Signal when you rendezvous in. Others, above. Get out! What? I can't hear you. I see them. They're coming from above in 20 seconds. Get out of the way. Is that your precognition? Spread out. Extinction Belt damaged communications. It's rare for them to go completely down. Naomi, get to Seto Platoon and ask for reinforcements. The rest of you, get ready to take out the others. I wonder where the other platoons are. You're right. There were supposed to be over 40 people deployed here. I don't see anyone else around Point Alpha. I hope others didn't get them. Kyoka Platoon, disperse! They're coming from above! Thank you. You saved me. Is everyone all right? Gimma Garrison and Sugumi Nazar reporting in. There are two more nearby. Yuito, you alive? Nagi, where are you right now? Next to the rubble. I'm with Naomi. Let me reboot the GPS. <laughs> What's wrong? Nagi! Others are attacking from all around us! Nagi is- ah! Naomi! This is bad. There are too many others. We have to hurry. I'll clear the rubble. There are too many. I'll help! Ah! Naomi! Naomi, are you okay? I'm okay. I just hurt my leg a little. I'm gonna kill it! Hey, calm down! I will once I kill it. You handle things over there! Gemma, can I kill it now? Fine, but listen to Yuito and calm down. Shut up. It's dead. Naomi... <sighs> I'm okay. I'm heading to... <sighs>
What's going on? Don't take your hands off of the red strings. I'll fight too. Other is Naomi. Naomi. A transfer power. You need strong abilities to move something that size. Where are you going? You can't run off during a mission. Let go! <sighs> Don't try to resist. I'm too strong for you. <sighs> huh. I'm impressed you're able to calm down so quickly. Why are you stopping me? For your own sake. And for Naomi's. So you know what happened to my sister. She metamorphosed. She can't change back. Not like this, anyway. What do you know? What I know is that the only way to make Naomi human again is to entrust her to them. I'm not even sure what happened, and you're telling me to trust you? You're not even sure what happened, and you're doubting me. I'm sure you at least understand that if you get Naomi back now, she'd just be killed as another. Is it really safe to let a mysterious group like that take her? That's the Ceyron garrison of the National Defense Forces. They won't kill her. I can guarantee that. But don't ask me why they won't kill her right now. And don't notify the OSF command about the fact that Naomi has metamorphosed. Don't tell anyone about this. If you do, I can't vouch for Naomi's or your safety. Are you saying they'll kill me? They won't kill you. Your ride is here. Think hard before you act. Don't trust new Himuka. You'll regret it if you do. Ah, Shiden is sending a distress signal up ahead. You should help him. Major General Karin? Yuito and Gemma, you two take care of her. I'm returning to the front line to regroup the units. Yes, sir. Kasane, uh, where's Naomi? I suppose I can tell you, since you saw the whole thing. She was taken by troops stationed in Ceyron. So that car was from the Ceyron garrison? Yes, so? Something's not right. When I reported this to Major General Fubuki, he told me not to tell anyone else, and to tell you to do the same. Major General Karin said the same thing. Why tell us to keep quiet? Does that mean OSF is hiding something? I don't know. Major General Fubuki said it would protect us. And take a look at this. It seems like the Ceyron garrison dropped this, too. I remember seeing this at home when I was a child. According to the Major General, it's a drug that temporarily boosts powers. He wanted me to turn them over, but I managed to keep two of them without him knowing. That was a smart decision. In any case, why would something like that be at my home? The Randall family is involved in weapon development. Anything related to drug manufacturing would have only been joint ventures with Spring Pharmaceuticals. He also mentioned that this drug was classified information. It seems like the top brass of the OSF know about it. Spring Pharmaceuticals is Major General Fubuki's family company. Perhaps the commander knew because of that. 
Don't trust new Himuka. What? What is that supposed to mean? It's something Karin said. I'm not exactly sure what he meant by it either. If this ampule really is from Seiron, then does that mean the Randalls and Springs are cooperating with Seiron? Even if that's the case, it just leaves us with more questions. It might be best to do as we were told. We keep this to ourselves and look into it privately. That ampule seems to be pretty important. Might be a good idea to hide it. Then I'll hide the ampule inside Baki. Huh? huh? I didn't think you'd know how to sew. I was always told to be independent, ever since I was little. Done. There's two, so who's going to hold on to them? I'll pass. I think you two should probably carry them. Baki... My sister would have been so happy. Kasane... About Naomi... I'm sorry. I knew that other was Naomi, but I was scared. I... I had no other choice but to fight. Hmm. Stop it. I'll get Naomi back. Just don't get in my way. This might come off as naive, but I want to do what I can to help save her, too. It is naive, but thank you. Oh, nice one, Sugumi. Looks like everyone's here. Huh, where's Naomi? Isn't she with you? <sighs> What's wrong? I'll tell you later. Uh, where's Nagi? And Captain Seto and Hanabi. Nagi is with the rescue team on the front line. Captain and Hanabi are totally fine. They're worried about you, so we should get out of here. No, the rest of you go first. She didn't supposed to be up ahead, so I'll pick him up. Then I'll go with you. For better or worse, I'm the leader of Kyokel Platoon until this mission is over. All right. Be careful. Oh, we finally found you, Shiden. You're not hurt. <laughs> of course I'm not. Don't treat me like a lost child. That's what you looked like to me. You little... All right, let's go home. I'm ready to go, but where's Naomi? There was a reading around here that seemed like her. Naomi died. What? Kasane. What? I had to tell him. <sighs> you're right. Hey, was she really killed? I know you're cold-hearted, but this is too frigid. Why would I lie about it? Naomi is dead. Kyoka left me in charge of the platoon. I wasn't good enough and let Naomi get killed. That's not true. It was... That's just not what happened. No, it is true. I know words are never enough, but I'm sorry. Oh dear, you must be so sad after losing your sister. Kodama, what do you want? Are you looking for wounded? Shiden, you little traitor. You know I don't do menial jobs like that. Right. Well, the reason doesn't really matter, so I guess I'll just say you were attacked by others. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, time to die! I underestimated you. You're pretty good. What's going on? Why would you do something like that? Hmm. Well, I have my reasons. Okay then, maybe it's time for me to get serious in round two. That's enough. Our mission isn't finished yet. Restrain yourself, Kodama. Major General Fubuki! Kodama, I'll take care of this. You don't need to get involved. Okay, understood. Gemma, Shiden, and Kasane. I know you're angry, but can you forgive Kodama for my sake? I don't mind. I'm not that angry. Aw, you're so sweet, Kasane! Now she hides behind Major General Fubuki. Hmm. Gemma? How about you? Understood, sir. Alright. We're returning to the frontline base. I know you all sustained some serious attacks, so pull back and get some rest. 
Okay, I guess we should withdraw. Though I'm not sure I have enough in me to go straight back to Suo. Should we stop by the hideout? Yeah, Major Kyoko will most likely have the same idea. That mission went really bad. Thank goodness you three are safe. No, I shouldn't be happy. I heard from Major General Fubuki. Naomi. She's dead. Yes. Damn those others. <sighs> Kasane, I'm sorry. I failed as a commander. She was such a promising girl. And now she's gone. Don't. She served like any other OSF soldier. If I believe what Karin says, Naomi is still alive. I don't know what he's thinking, but I have to leave my sister with those people for now. Wait for me, Naomi. I promise I'll come for you. fast. I didn't think you'd be here yet. I just got here. Now come on! Let's order us a bucket of sweets. Mmm, this is so good. Tea with sweets is the best way to relax. I guess. The tea and the cake aren't as good as what Naomi made. Yeah, she was a good cook. Anyway, other than how it tastes, are you relaxing? Relaxing? You're not relaxed? If there's something bothering you, you can talk to me. There isn't really anything. I'd be happy to take some fighting advice, though. Alright, but are you sure you want advice from me? You were the best in the class. You're pretty good yourself. You're not great at focusing on the whole picture, but you're great in a straight fight. I think you could teach me about using my power effectively, or how to make openings on the battlefield. Uh, was that a compliment? Yes, it was. You just go right in, even if it's an obviously dangerous situation. Why is that? I feel like you're saying I'm reckless. But yeah, if I had to give a reason, it's because I trust my friends. There are other people who will watch the whole battle. Even if I am a little excessive and clumsy, someone will cover for me. <laughs> I guess I sound spoiled. I see. Trusting your friends. I'll keep that in mind. I suppose there are a lot of different ways to fight. I'm glad I could help. But that's not what I was asking. Aren't you worried about how you're getting along with people? How I get along? What do you mean? Um, well... Like if there's someone you like... Huh? I do like someone, but I'm not worried about it. R really? That's cool. Could I ask who it is? Sure. It's Naomi. Huh? Oh, um... I didn't mean like in a family sense. Like a guy or something. So you mean romance. You should have said so from the beginning. So... is there anyone? I... don't know. At least I've never felt anything like that. So there's no one that you like right now? I don't think so. I'd know if I liked someone like that, wouldn't I? What? Um, I think you can be attracted to someone without realizing it yourself. Really? Uh, Kasane? <sighs> I'm going to head back. Yeah. Sorry it got so awkward. It's not awkward. I don't know if it was relaxing, but I had fun, I think. I haven't had pointless small talk with anyone since I've been separated from my sister. Um, if it made you feel better, then I'm glad I invited you. Why do you care about me so much? Huh? We're friends. Of course I'd care. Friends? 
You mean me? Yeah. I think so anyway. Is that bad? No. I don't mind. I was just a little surprised. I just thought we were familiar colleagues. Colleagues? I would have hoped you at least considered us classmates. Well, we can say we're friends now. I guess we can. Thanks. Yeah, sure. We should have tea as friends again. Of course. I'll see you later. Oh, Kasane. I'm here, just like you asked me. What did you want to talk about? I was just wondering if you were okay. Me? I'm alright. Really? I mean, everything with Naomi. Oh, right. Now that you mention it, you were there too, weren't you? When it happened, you saw Naomi transform. Yeah, it was really scary. Just thinking about it upsets me. But I know it has to be harder for you. So... And that's why you reached out to me. Thanks, but I'm fine. That can't be true. You can't be okay. I didn't say that I wasn't in pain, but right now, I have bigger priorities than my own feelings. I'm going to do what I need to for my sister. That's all. You don't need to worry about me. Okay. <sighs> have you talked to my sister before? I mean, you're in different platoons, so I figured you wouldn't have interacted that much. We talked once in a while, because we had common hobbies, like gardening. Gardening? I like growing flowers. When I said that, Naomi said she was interested as well. Flowers. Right, Naomi did like flowers. Not just flowers. She also said she wanted to grow herbs to cook with. Can you grow herbs on your own? It's not difficult if you know how to grow them, but it also depends on the variety. For example, mint is easy to grow, parsley and basil too, and you use them a lot in cooking. I see. There were some plants that like dry places, and others that need to be watered frequently. Why did you get so quiet all of a sudden? I'm sorry. I realized I was blabbering. I wouldn't consider any of that blabbering. I studied a lot about herbs to teach Naomi, so I got a little carried away. I see. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. I just had so much more I wanted to talk to Naomi about. Whatever it was you were going to teach her about gardening. Would you mind teaching me instead? What? Of course. Are you sure? I'm sure. You never know, it might come in handy. I also want to find out what my sister wanted to know. Okay. Just like with herbs, plants have all kinds of uses. I'm sure it will be helpful in your life somehow. Oh! I know. The lavender flower has a relaxing property. Drinking it in tea or smelling its aroma when you're tired or feeling bad will make you feel better. Thank you. I'll keep an eye out for some. Okay. Well, goodbye. She's so kind to me. I can tell she cares. And while her personality may be different, there's a part of her that reminds me of Naomi. Shiden, can we talk? What do you need? I'm busy. There's something that's bothering me about your actions during our operations. <laughs> okay, Ms. Leader. Go ahead, say what you want to say. You fly solo too often during battles. From my calculations, you do this about 30% more than the other members. More importantly, there weren't many cases where it gave us an advantage. 
How about you coordinate with the rest of us? What? Did you not hear me? I'm suggesting that fighting individually doesn't play to our platoon's strength. I follow instructions outlined by the operation. Or is babysitting you guys part of the plan? I didn't ask you to babysit. Combining our strengths is a more efficient solution. We all have unique powers. Complementing each other with what we lack will help us fight more effectively. Our operations have all been successful. I don't see a problem. We could be stronger if we continued to train. Are you satisfied with our current state? You don't have any right to say that to me. I'll fight my own way. Stop trying to boss me around. This isn't an order, it's a suggestion. Are you all right? Do you have a problem with your hearing? What did you say? Now, now, you two, don't fight. We're all on the same team here. I only suggested she then cooperate with us more. Seriously? You were giving me a whole lot of attitude for someone asking for my cooperation. Okay, calm down, the both of you. Listen to me. Shiden, your fighting skills and analysis levels are excellent. We all know you're capable of working on your own. However, you're part of a team. Don't you think it's worth practicing coordinating with your teammates? It's not easy to adapt to a sudden change. So why don't you start by becoming friends with Kasane? Friends? Kasane, you've taken the initiative to think about our platoon. Our team will become stronger if we're able to coordinate well together. But just telling someone how you feel isn't enough to reach an understanding. There are many ways to communicate. Why don't you study the people around you and think of creative ways to do that? Creative? You're both good kids. I'm sure you'll get along. Do your best. I don't need friends. If I'm strong enough to fight alone, I can beat the others without having to rely on unnecessary coordination. That's fine with me, as long as you don't hold us back in battle. Are you saying I'm holding you back? Yes. First, you charge into the front lines alone too much. You lose sight of your surroundings when you get excited. <laughs> your overconfidence and poor follow-through are also concerning. You always lose focus and relax when you see victory at hand. I I'll do better on the next assignment. So you're aware of this. Good. Everyone has faults. As perfect as we try to be, we all have limits. That makes relying on your teammates a necessary strategy. Fighting alone will get you killed one of these days. <coughs> Shiden? He seems angry. Was I too harsh again? Are you mad? I apologize if I offended you. So you point out people's weaknesses in order to claim superiority? That's not what I do. It doesn't matter who's better or worse. Fine. Be like that. But I'm never losing to you. I'll conquer all my flaws and weaknesses on my own. Now don't talk to me anymore. I've really made him mad. I guess this means I didn't come up with a creative way to communicate my thoughts to him. I'll have to work on that. I bet Naomi would be able to handle this without a problem. I have to figure this out on my own now. I have to think of a way to get along with him. You don't look well. You've been through a lot, so rest a while. You can go back to Suo later. Gemma and I have to go back to file our report, but there's no need for you and Shiden to rush. Don't push yourself, Kasane. Hey, if you're gonna rest, rest. I'll read a book or something. Why don't you go back to Suo with the others? It's my choice. Well, I'm going to rest then. How long are you going to follow me around? Sh shut up! I'll go then if that's what you want. The Ceyron garrison of the National Defense Forces caused a stir when they deployed unauthorized near the abandoned subway to invent- Chairman Sumeragi criticized the move as being outside the purview of civilian military operations and has ordered the Minister of Defense to find out the facts. From Mother? We heard about Naomi's death. Why didn't you tell us? 
our sweet little Naomi. We couldn't refuse her desire to be a scout, so we left our precious girl in your care. I guess I was wrong to hope. We were fools. I don't want you contacting us anymore. You've never contacted us anyway, so I'm sure that won't bother you. Is that the Randall Industries logo? So? Seiran's preparations are nearly complete. Everyone deployed in Suo merely await your command. The destruction of the OSF from within is progressing nicely. Half of them will align with Seiran. Then the rebellion will be carried out at Kunad. Wait. Did they see me? I knew you'd come. What's that supposed to mean? Just a sad, sorry fate. Who is that girl? Naomi's younger sister. I'll take care of her. Randall's adoptive daughter. Well, I must be going. You're planning a rebellion right in the middle of town? <laughs> I wonder how much you truly understand. What does that mean? What are you saying? You don't need to know yet. Come with me. <sighs> Where am I? The GPS program isn't working. Is Cynet down? No. It seems this room is blocking the net. You're awake. Stay here and be quiet. I get it. Karin told you to watch me. That's why you wouldn't leave me alone. So you support the Seiron Rebellion as well? Seiron is my homeland. And Major General Karin appreciates me more than Major General Fubuki. Get out of my way. No. Then I'll just have to make you. Don't be silly. If you think you're good enough to fight me... Hey, listen to me! You're all bark and no bite. Kasane, we're here to rescue you. Um, what's going on? Yeah. Shiden came to help me too. He got hurt. Don't worry about it. I see. So will you help us, Shiden? Help you? What do you mean? My brother Karin Travers has taken his regiment and is trying to start a rebellion with Seiron. <sighs> I want to confirm. You know that my brother is in league with Seiron. Yes. Then, do you know where he went? He mentioned a place called Kunad. That's Kunad Highway. I'm going to go stop my brother. This is personal, so I can't ask the OSF to help. I'm going too. I want answers from Karin. Right. I can't let Karin do this either. Shiden, you'll come with us, right? I... Come with us, Shiden. You'll get what you want that way. <sighs> All right. If Kasane's going, then so am I. As your commander, I can't let you two go alone. Okay. We'll split the platoon into two teams. Luka, Kasane, and myself will go first. Kyoka and Shiden, you support us. That's best. Right, Sheedan? Whatever. Yuito? Captain Seto? What is Seto platoon doing here? Kyoka, can you back us up? We need to withdraw. Right. 
It's ridiculous for us to fight our allies. Gemma, come with me. Tell me what's gotten into you. No, I... We'll draw off the OSF around us. I doubt they are willing to take on two Septentrions. Will you say the same? <laughs> Is it with me, Luca? Corin. <laughs> Luca. I knew you would be here. Leave my brother to me. Don't fool yourself! Come at me all together. I see. So it's different this time. Understood. However... No! Everyone, get back! <laughs> Is that you, Kasane? You okay? Y yes Everyone, prepare to deploy! that? People turned into others? They're National Defense Forces, right? Hmm? Yeah. Though the National Defense Forces around here are Sauron Garrison. Are they not Sauron? No. From what I saw, it looked like they were from Suo. So it was either the National Defense Forces or the new Himuka government that turned Naomi into another. Turned Naomi into an other? What are you talking about? Captain Seto, let's go back to Karin. He knows what's going on. Sounds like there's a good reason. Okay, it'll be dangerous, but let's go back to Major General Karin. No, wait. It looks like Yuito and Nagi are nearby. Over there! We'll take the others down one by one and help them. Can you do it? Of course. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Makes me want to steal you from Kyoka Platoon. Let's go. Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me. There it is again. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. 
go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No, I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi, what are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. Nagi! Now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! <sighs> Nagi! <sighs> Then you will die! Captain Sato! Nagi! Stop! <laughs> We finally found you! Captain Sato! I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! What's wrong? What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you alright, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeraki Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeraki.
Don't take your hands off of the red strings. They will twist through time and lead the way for you, Kasane. What is that? What's going on here? I don't get it. Yubito! Major Kyoka! Kasane, what happened? First, we were attacked by Major General Karin. And then we were attacked by other OSF. Then there was a big earthquake. But it's strange. How did an earthquake make something like that? What is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's a gravitational anomaly around that thing. Damn. That must be why my head hurts so much. I felt a pain too. It wasn't like a normal headache. It was something different. So, none of you saw that? Then what could that have been? Maybe it was just that dream again. What are you talking about? I sometimes have these strange dreams. They're about these threads called red strings. I had one just now, but this time Yuito was there. Yuito may have been a dream as well. Why would we have the same dream as you? Maybe it's because the dream about the strings was more detailed than normal. And that's why you thought it was real and not a dream. Yes, but it couldn't have been. I'm not so sure. Maybe your dreams with Yuito aren't dreams and are actually experiences the two of you had. Wait. I'm sorry, Kasane, but right now we have more important things to worry about. Yeah, right. First off, if we stay here, there's a high possibility we'll get sucked into that thing. I also wonder about Suo. If Karin is serious, then it's safe to bet that something's probably going on there. I don't see Luka or Yuito either. They probably went back there as well. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Let's hurry back to Suo. What is this? Is this... Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our Habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's alright. Hmm... This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? There's something scattered on the ground over there. These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw in the abandoned subway. Major General Karin? Fubuki? So... cold... No... Is he dead? 
Major General Karin, is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime, but look, you've gone and destroyed this city! Karin, is Fubuki dead because of your rebellion? <sighs> Karin, answer me! Your brother's body. Here, take it. Kasane, so you're finally here. Uh, what? Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking about? It can't be done here. This planet, no, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. <laughs> finally. I can finally save her. What... happened? That was Major General Karin's power. Skill Class SS, Brain Eater. He can copy any power and make it his own. Fubuki, I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take care of first. We're following him, right? Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <laughs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Let's hurry after Karin. His trail won't last long. <clears throat> hey, wait. Someone's there. Psionics. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. <clears throat> Wait! Who are you? Are you... Yuito? Huh? Impossible. That voice... Are you Kasane Randall? Yuito Sumeragi? This old man? Wait. I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on. Although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumeragi. It seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? The end has begun. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasane, your power isn't psychokinesis. 
It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings? So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? What? Everyone is gone! <sighs> so... The time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time. Like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here. But we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. I know you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiran Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. The truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunod Gate. The pseudo-black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So... It seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunad Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <gasps> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live, and now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock, 
But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny. Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. Wh what Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> my father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman, and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers, to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. So... doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh. So you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So, you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. 
The time travel power, the red strings are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi, but it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh. I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. Kasane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? 
Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. And it was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. I'm so... tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain Seto's pen. What's it doing here? Naomi. Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, y yes. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <sighs> we pretended not to notice. So, what are you going to do? I... Uh, I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All right. Let's head to Suo then, everyone. It's too quiet. Maybe the Rebel OSF and the Seiron Garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sainet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. I'll do my best to find out what's going on, so hide somewhere until then. Kyoka, Kasane. Did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. 
So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. It looks like we can't do that, though. There might be more. Be careful. Kaguru? What is it? Did you see Kagero? Yes. I saw him turn invisible and run to the OSF headquarters. Did he? We were fighting others, so there's no way he could have missed us. He might have been running from us. Why would Kagero run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Hmm. The OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. I don't know if we can track him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. Weren't we told to hide? With others in the city, the only places we can hide are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along the way. That should help the citizens a little. The city's vision all went out at once. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions. So if you shut it down, everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer-generated signs. So this is what duds say. Duds? What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Seiron. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's no way. And why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? OSF? I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the Rebellion, too? What do you mean by that? We were attacked by psionics on that road over there. Only rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait, were you the only ones attacked? No, Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. <laughs> Hold them! They know about the Metamorphosis experiments. Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about Metamorphosis. And if he doesn't die here, maybe we can avoid that ruinous future. <laughs> Chairman Sumeragi? Yes. The OSF. That's... Togetsu. This wound... It's too late. Wait, don't die! Can New Himuka turn people into others? I... Can't... Tell you. I'm serious! Answer me! It's... Too late for me anyway. Kasane? Huh? Yuito. Dad. Kasane, are you okay? Dad!
Out of the way! What are you doing?! In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. I'm here, so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! What do you think you're doing? I guess it won't be that easy. I'm not getting anywhere like this. If I use the brain field, then I could definitely get Yuito. Yes, I should be able to do it. I have to now. I want to protect the world to save my sister. I'll do whatever I need to do that. I will kill him. sick. It's like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field? <laughs> Kasane! I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait! What are you doing? Why are you trying to kill me? And my father... Kasane... Did you stab my father? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Shiden if you want to escape. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with sign it. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. Nukimuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey! Kasane's getting away! Wait! Wait! Wake up, citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Seiron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. 
Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceyron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control, a revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Kagero. You're from Togetsu, and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Did Togetsu order you? I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, alright? Yes. Kagero. Don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on to you. I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. I finally found you. Karin! Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the New Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Ceyron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. Huh. You two have known each other that long? Well, you know, so what are you all going to do? I... I plan to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn... To be honest, you really piss me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. All right. Then I'm going to Seiron too. We'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Shiden is an egghead from Ceyron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? Easy there. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fubuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to Seiron, Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. Oh, <laughs> stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. 
I'm sure none of them trust the government. And Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Ceyron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. The Randall family has lots of units they don't use. I never told them we were using this in the first place. Oh, so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Ceyron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. I don't mind. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody is more hurt about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> if only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture.
Sane, how are you? I'm fine. You look alright too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not alright. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey! Don't insult me! I would never betray him! Uh... I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, but all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Thank you for coming today. There's no need for pleasantries. What do you need from me? So, what things about Kara did you want to ask me? I wanted to ask you how you see my brother. Why me? There are a lot of other people who have met him. You might not like hearing this, but I think the two of you are a bit similar. Similar? You're not talking about our appearance. No, not that. So what do you think of my brother? Well, I'm not really that close to him, and it's not like we've talked a lot. I'd like to hear what you have to say about him first. I'm interested in learning what kind of person Karin is. Alright. Well, he seems like a very straightforward person to me. Straightforward? I've never felt that way about him. I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would agree with you. Also, I don't necessarily mean it in a good way. He's overly candid pushing forward without considering anybody else. That's the kind of person he is. I kind of understand what you're saying. Okay, let me share my impression of him. I recognize Karin's skills, but I think he's condescending, oppressive, and does whatever he wants. Personally, I'm fine that he acts that way, but I don't understand how someone like that can still be popular. <laughs> That's a harsh way to put it. I knew you were like him. How so? You're both candid, and you also don't compromise with the path you choose to take. I would never cause an uprising or incite others to get involved. Maybe not, but people come to you nonetheless. I think that those with a strong will naturally draw other people to them. That can make people like me, who tend to hide in the shadows, a little jealous. I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like I draw other people to me like Karin does. I think these straightforward people you talk about often create more discord than not. I'm constantly butting heads with people. I feel like it'd be easier if I were more well-mannered like you. It's not easier. We all have problems. 
That might be true, but you always seem so calm and collected. It's almost hard to believe you're his younger brother. You seem like someone who has everything figured out. Do I? Anyway, let's call it a day. I'm glad I could talk to you. Is that all you wanted to talk about? I don't feel like I said much. No, this has been a very worthwhile conversation for me. Thank you. Damn it! Shiden? What are you doing? Kasane! I I'm not doing anything! If you're trying to hide it, why don't you go somewhere people can't see? It's hard to ignore what you're doing to that doll. What? How long have you been watching? A while. What's the point of this? I don't need to be bossed around by you! This is just small talk. We're teammates. Don't teammates talk like this? Small talk? Okay, fine. This is called Baki. I know that. Naomi liked it too. My parents pushed it on me because it's popular. It's completely not my taste. Then why do you have it? It's your fault. Huh? Because I lost you one-on-one. -on -one. My parents are trying to cheer me up. You told your family you lost? Of course not! When I didn't reply for a while, they probably figured out what happened. They've been messaging me non-stop ever since. They even sent me this doll. They probably think I like it. But that's just added pressure. That's why I don't want to reply. And just looking at the message notifications ticks me... So you were taking it out on the doll? Yeah. You got a problem with that? I think that's better than taking it out on the people around you. Oh. So you weren't making fun of me? Ugh. What was that sound? How are you doing? We haven't heard from you, so we've been worried. Your mother and father are always on your side. Your mother knows just how strong you are, little Shiden. Do your best and don't lose. I can't wait to hear from you. See you soon. Did you see that? I'm sorry, but I did. She's a good mom. <laughs> These are the types of messages she keeps sending me. I'm a grown man now, but she keeps treating me like a kid. You actually messaged through the terminal? They pushed it on me. I mean, we can directly receive transmissions through the brain, but they want to go through all this trouble. I don't understand why you're so resistant. You don't like being encouraged by your family? I'm grateful, but sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's some things you just can't accomplish no matter how much they expect you to. So when they keep telling me to do my best, it feels like they're blaming my inadequacy. You're so immature. What did you say? Ever since I was adopted into the Randall family, I've never received a single word of encouragement from my parents. I don't mean to compare our lives, and I can't say who's better off. But from where I stand, you're loved and truly blessed. I would even say I'm jealous. I'm sorry for saying all those things without thinking about your situation. Still, my family's encouragement stresses me out. My parents will praise me no matter how spectacularly I fail. That's no way to measure my abilities. I need to be acknowledged by an objective third party if I'm going to improve. You're not satisfied being loved by your family? I don't understand why you work so hard just to be acknowledged. Of course you don't. You're the one who won. So I'm just inferior. I trained so hard for years. And it resulted in a pathetic loss to a rookie. I know you must be laughing at me behind my back. I'm not. I just don't understand why you need the approval of others. If you explain it to me, I'll try my best to understand. You want to understand? That's what I'm telling you. Huh. I'm busy. I'm not obligated to explain anything to you. He has a lot on his mind. I'll need to talk to him more if I'm going to understand him. I had no idea communicating with people was so hard.
Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. Yo, Kasane! Coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on! What else do you want? Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. Am I making a mistake? So what do we need to talk about? Let's see. I guess uh, an update on how we've been? Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam, so let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So, you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood. Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes. I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were, like nothing even happened. Of course I want to be together with my sister again. But I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just... I've lived a life full of regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although, you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. You've got to maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Although I could be reading into it too much. That should be enough rest. First, I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is an other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling all right, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. 
I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much, okay, Kasane? Yes, I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes, I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So Hef really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Kyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck! Ugh. Looks like first platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. It feels like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Karin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <sighs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seiron for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. This must be the area around Kunad Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. Whoa there, I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up, I know, it just slipped out. Everything all right? No, oh, it's nothing. Shiden just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just, just a little freaked out. It seems small. The Cunard Gate we saw in the future was much bigger. Probably just needs time. So this is going to expand and destroy the world. Well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate, and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Seiron. Your duties won't be any different from before. That's fine, but how was Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Seiron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. 
So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. I'm not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder what would happen if you get sucked inside. Oh, I know. Hey, Sheedin, stick your finger inside it. Stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but don't go near the gate even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Yuito is right. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Should I tell Karin that Yuito is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunat Gate. No, this is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming, he's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it, Yuito had aged, but Karn looked exactly the same. Did he just not age, or could it be... something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. What do you know, Karin? If you know how to cure metamorphosis, then you can save Naomi. Seiron has labs that are conducting research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Where is the lab? I can't tell you. It's highly classified research, and only authorized personnel are allowed in the facility. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on the probe. We're ready to leave. Understood. And with that, your mission comes to a close. Feel free to do whatever you want until I contact you again. Wait, Karin! Arashi, why did you stop me? You lose all perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher-ups' consent, then at least pretend that you're an obedient soldier. You're going to help me look for Naomi? Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after all. Besides, I am concerned about Naomi. The other research sounds interesting as well. Okay. I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should stop by the hideout. Let's go. I see. So that's what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi! How could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? 
Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. Better than saying it behind your back. Don't forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway, were you really planning on investigating this secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. We can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. I looked into this lab, and it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay. Then let's go now. Whoa there, wait a sec. You sure then? We're coming with you. That's fine with me. Besides, based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Seiron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Haruka. I've prepared a relatively safe route using the information Arashi provided. Thank you. I'll leave the navigation to you. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious than this. He might even think it was on purpose. Sorry guys, I can't access the internal data from here. Don't worry, I've got this. Follow me. How'd you unlock it so damn fast? When did you have the time to do that? I want to say it was a piece of cake, but I didn't have time to hack any of the others. According to what I found, there's more than a few of these security gates around the facility. It's going to be a real pain. Knowing that is enough. We can do the rest on our own. Be careful, everyone. Hey, I thought this was an other research laboratory, but it looks more like a factory. What gives? And that strange smell. What is that? It's starting to make me nauseous. What in the world are they making here? Huh? Aren't those... Ampules. They're the same ones the Seiron military dropped. Seiron military? What are you talking about? Hmm, so the Seiron garrison dropped an ampule like this when they took Naomi away after she turned into an other. That is a Seiron laboratory after all, so it wouldn't be that odd for the garrison to have something from there. But you said you saw an ampule like that in your home when you were a child. Yes, I think it's connected to Randall Industries, since they had partnerships with the pharmaceutical company as well. You're talking about Spring Pharmaceuticals. That's your family's company, right, Arashi? Do you know anything about it? Yeah, it's my family's company, but unfortunately I don't know anything about this facility or the ampules. The OSF had me doing annoying promotional work. Oh well, that just means we need to scoop up any information we can now. What are you up to now? The key to intelligence gathering is to obtain information as quickly and precisely as possible. Wow, Arashi. It's like their security doesn't even exist to you. Looks like they thought they were safe enough with a closed system. I should be able to get into the root... 
Wait, what is this? What did you find? Share the data you have. Oh, what have we here? A valuable asset in a battle with New Himuka. An other weapon? Uh, this video. They're transplanting human brains into others. A psionic's brain is connected to an other through SAS in order to control it. How novel. Having people and others fighting together. I'd say other weapon is an apt name. What a sickening idea. However, based on the data, it doesn't look like they've completed this project. No, that's not it. It seems they haven't succeeded with ordinary others. This experiment is even more horrifying than we thought. In order to increase the compatibility with the SAS, they're using others that were... originally human. No! That's barbaric! Oh boy. Major General Karin had some terrible things to say about Nuhimuka, but I'm not sure Seiron is any better. Why did he try to hide this facility from us? Naomi. I have to find Naomi. Stop. Get yourself together. If you blow our cover now, it will all be over. <sighs> yes, you're right. Arashi, can you find out where Naomi might be? I'll get on that right now. There's a large, high-security area up ahead. Seems pretty fishy to me. Okay, let's make our way over there then. We should at least confirm her status, see if she's okay. This is... some kind of control mechanism. Hmm... Arashi, it's your turn. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to complain, but this is a lot of work for one door. Hold on. What the heck am I looking at here? <gasps> That's another! Isn't it? The console was a decoy! I'm getting multiple other readings, you guys! Stay on your toes! We'll take them out! Who's there? <gasps> that voice. Someone... there? Naomi? That's you, isn't it? Where are you? Say something! <sighs> Kasane? Naomi? Naomi! I knew it was you! That voice... Is that really you, Kasane? We have a brain talk connection with Naomi. That must mean she's nearby. I've confirmed a reading for Naomi. Wait... You shouldn't... I'll be right there, Naomi. You're in here. Back away from the door. I'm breaking it down. You don't have to do that. I can unlock it. No. Don't open it. to you, Naomi. What the hell is that? Why is Naomi another? I'm sorry, Naomi. It's because you protected me. It's okay, Kasane. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> but... It really is okay. I'm glad you're well. Yes. Thanks to you. What... What are you doing here? Hey, Naomi. We wanted to come and check to see that you were okay. It's not just that. I want to save you. Thank you. 
But I'm fine like this. There's no way I'd be able to have a life out there. I'm an other now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's enough. You can't just keep apologizing to Naomi. She's right. And hey, right now you're both alive and breathing. Isn't that something to be happy about? Major Kyoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to happen like this. No, it's all right. How are you doing? The people here haven't hurt you, have they? I'm fine. The people here are very kind, even to an other like me. <laughs> Naomi? But when I don't take the ampules, it really hurts. And I can't... Give me it, Kate? Kate? Please, you have to go. Please forget about me. No! I was finally able to find you! Kasane, she's right. It's what your sister wants you to do. <laughs> Naomi! So you came. <laughs> Major General Karin? Yeah, well, this isn't very surprising. Seems like you had us dancing to your tune all along. Naomi is able to maintain her personality with the medication and the ampules, but the effects are only temporary. The only way to save her is to revert her to her human state, and to do that, we need your power. Are you telling the truth? If you're trying to use my sister as an other weapon... That is simply what they tell Sayron. This facility's true purpose is to revert humans that have been metamorphosed into others back to their original state. Then tell me what I need to do! You'll need to be at full strength. I'll need some time to prepare as well. Continue exterminating others until we're ready. Bide your time. I promise you Naomi will be safe. I don't like it, but I'll go with it for now. Then go back to Ceyron and hold tight on standby. Don't do anything so rash again. We should treat ourselves to a day on the town to raise spirits. Yeah. We can't force it on Kasane, though. You're right. Seeing Naomi like that? Even I was shaken. Stand by, huh? So, what do you want to do? We could go back to OSF headquarters. Before you do, could I have a moment of your time? Excuse me, but who are you? Please excuse my manners. I work for the Ceyron government. I have come to ask you all a favor. This is a request from a group of us who do not quite see eye to eye with Travers. What are you talking about? I thought Major General Karin and the Ceyron government are in this together. We have determined that Yuito Sumeragi is connected to the Kunad Gate's formation. Uh. Our experts say that the gate will bring a great disaster to the world if left alone. We propose the assassination of Yuito Sumeragi to Travers, but he has skirted the issue. After some reconsideration, we decided that we should delegate this task to the hero who assassinated Chairman Sumeragi instead. You want Kasane to assassinate Yuito? I'll do it. What? Are you serious? 
Do you know what you're even saying? Thank you for your cooperation. We have intel that Yuito Sumeragi is currently in Kikuchiba on assignment. I will leave the rest to you. Good day. I wasn't able to find out the identity of that man, but I was at least able to determine that he works for Seiron's Prime Minister. So the fact that this is a request from the government checks out. Are you really going to assassinate Yuito? Look, I know what this sounds like coming from me, but don't you think that's a bit much? I'm not saying what future Yuito told you isn't true. Kakuro does have a point. As of now, we only have circumstantial evidence. Nothing is really concrete. This also goes against Major General Karin's wishes. Are you still gonna go through with it? Yes. I'm going to kill Yuito. That's most likely the only solution we have. Only solution my ass? I'll make my way to Kikuchiba. What the hell? You can't just leave! Well, we came here just like the guy wanted us to. Are you sure about this? Are you really going to kill Yuito? Either way, we couldn't just let you go by yourself. Everyone here has your back. Listen, Kasane. We'll help you fight, but it ends there. After that, each of us will act independently. Got it? There you are. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead! Kasane, tell me! Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Kodama. Great, just what we needed. We should fall back to our hideout. Uh, wait, Kasane! This is completely messed up. How can you just decide to kill Yuito like that? That day we came back from the future, you said that it wasn't going to be an easy decision yourself. Our future depends on it. Look, if that's your argument, do you actually have proof that it's all true? I'm sorry, but I just don't believe that killing Yuito is the answer to solving everything. Besides, it seems pretty extreme to kill both the father and the son. What exactly is your reasoning behind all this? If you can justify killing Yuito, then I'm all ears. There's no point trying to explain. That's for us to decide! What? I've been wanting to tell you this for a while now, Kasane, but you are way too selfish. You make quick decisions and determine what needs to be done. Even when you lose your cool, you're able to compose yourself. I really respect those qualities. Yeah, I said it, I respect you! That's why I was able to accept you as my leader. But no, not this time. Why should you kill Yuito? Don't expect any help from me until you can give me a good, valid reason. That... but... Whoa there, Shiden. I think that's enough. Ah, oh, the youth are so passionate. I like it. It looks like your passion got to her. Continuing to harp on her like that isn't going to get us answers. Listen, Kasane, we have no idea what kind of things you're bottling up inside. We don't know the weight of it, or whether it's painful or not. The only thing we know right now is simply what happened to Naomi. Saying that an explanation would be pointless means you have something you should say. Lucky for you, there are four open-minded people here ready to listen. I'm pretty sure there are different perspectives you can consider as well. Tell us. We deserve to hear it. Yes, we're all on the same team here. I'm sorry. So you're really not gonna tell us? N no 
I just wasn't sure how to explain it, so I'm sorry I said it'd be pointless to tell you. Well, if that was the case, then you should have said something. I I'm sorry. Oh, this apology is for making you jump to conclusions, so... Yeah, I think I got that. Hey, Sheedan, come on. Let's try to relax a little, okay? It's great you're invested, and that's cool and all, but it's also lame at the same time. Shut up! Anyway, if you're gonna tell us, then tell us already. Uh, okay. The first reason is what I felt at Kunod Gate. I felt something like the power of the red strings coming from it. The time portal that should be disappearing lingers because of Yuito's power. That's what made me believe what future Yuito said. The second reason is because of what Karin said. He knows that we went to the future. He does? Arashi, you were eavesdropping so you can confirm. Yeah. From what was said in the future, I knew there was a good chance that Karin was involved in some way or another. He's at least aware that a time-traveling power exists and has accepted it. The third reason is that the Seiron official said Yuito was involved. I see. So for you, all your suspicions leading up to now were confirmed? Yes. I mean, they're all just circumstantial, but it's all I have. I'm sorry. You're apologizing for the wrong thing again. What we wanted was a fair explanation, and you provided one. You don't need to apologize for that. And it's thanks to your explanation, we came to understand exactly why you made your decision. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from now. But I still have a question. Why didn't you discuss all this with us? I told you. I didn't have any definite proof, and I didn't think you'd believe me. But I did. And everyone else here, too. Some of it I'm still not convinced about, but I don't think all of it's a lie. It's proof that your way of thinking is wrong. That's why we should talk from now on. We have each other's backs here. That's what makes us a team. I'm sorry. There you go again. Huh? There's a different phrase you should be saying right now. That's right. If you want to build trustful relationships, an apology isn't what's needed right now. Oh. Um. Thank you. Everyone. Kasane, you've come to see me. Let me guess, you've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. Disturbing things do tend to stand out. Ouch. I demand an apology and compensation. Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Kikuchiba? What are we going to do at a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you'd just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Why does he want me to go with him? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait! We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry. But at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training, 
Having them around was the whole point. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like the entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is! An arcade game? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take its prize? Don't worry about it. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice, it worked. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then... That one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I'm basically an expert now. Start it up, turn here, and... Now! He dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. One more time. This time I'll get it for sure. He hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. Hey, you're cheating! All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. You brute forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. Okay then, I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. Oh, were you two together? Oh boy, looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. Kasane? Why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways, and I am an old geezer. In fact, I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. Then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. Whoa now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm glad you two are getting along so well. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well, that lack of control is one of your good features. Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? 
sure she is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. Skipping out on work? Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up! People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You could find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? You care about efficiency that much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned, but I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. She likes to cook too? Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. I see. That's why these rations are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Good grief, are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful they took me in. But my parents don't see me as family. Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me, protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. When someone protects you, you protect them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Now, I've gotta go. Oh, that's so unfair. Arashi! This must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. Kasane, perfect. Can you get me a soda from the refrigerator? Sure, but I think it would be faster if you got it yourself. I need my calories. Burning those calories with my power would be putting the cart before the horse. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. I don't know when, though. So, about our mission from the Seiron government, I wrote in the report that we were interrupted and were unable to complete our assignment. You mean I did? Honestly? I only did it because nobody around here bothers with the paperwork. Wow, Shiden, you're so reliable. Keep up the good work. Hey, watch it. I wonder if they're going to give us a new other suppression assignment. Karin made it seem like they would. Which reminds me. I'm curious about what Karin said in the future. It was... Why now? 
If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Finally. I can finally save her. Piecing together Karin's statements, Kasane's power must be a clue on how to reverse metamorphosis. Major Kyoka? Where did that come from? Well, maybe not. Karin did mention that we should have arrived earlier, so... He could have copied Kasane's psychokinesis whenever he wanted, but he hasn't. If what he wants is the Red String's power, then the matter is not about finding a cure. He would take time and... Calm down, Kyoka. Huh? What's gotten into you? You almost sounded like Arashi when she's actually focused. Really? That's strange. I didn't think I was acting any differently. Trying to put all the pieces together, maybe you just fell into a trance. Whatever it was, your line of thinking was interesting. It does seem like Karin thinks Kasane is the key. Yes, she is very important to Major General Karin. There's no mistake about it. Do you think the reason I came to Seiron is because of Karin too? That's certainly a possibility. Wouldn't rule it out. What do you think he's planning? Sorry to interrupt, but Kasane Platoon has been given an other suppression assignment. There's a high probability for others appearing in the Mizu Hagawa New City Development District. Head there immediately. You heard her. Let's head over and take care of this first. Then we can talk. You're right. There's no sense thinking about it now, but we should all be careful. This is the area the other report projected. Yes, our assignment is to exterminate any others that appear here. Why send us all the way out here? You would think there were other places more worth protecting. Believe it or not, this area is actually a trade route to Togetsu. Yeah, I know it may not look like much, but it's actually pretty important. Togetsu may be an isolated religious state, but apparently trades happen when interests are aligned. In other words, the extent of the relationship is strictly business. So, what does everyone want to do? Wow, did my ears just deceive me? I think Kasane just asked us for our opinion. Normally, she'd just rush out looking for others. I see. No one has any ideas. In that case, let's do what we normally do. Wait, nobody said we didn't have any ideas! Kagero, stop teasing Kasane! My bad, your highness. Don't get your panties in a bunch. My panties Who cares? Anyways, if you have an idea, speak up. As for ideas, I... No, we don't have any. I hacked the system to see what the transport schedule was today, but I couldn't find anything around this time. That means we can concentrate on exterminating the others. Everyone, stay vigilant and move forward. Wait! I just received a request for reinforcements. A transport team is being attacked by an other up ahead. Wow, really? Because Arashi literally just said there weren't going to be any transports now. It definitely wasn't on the schedule. If there's a transport team, it means this was off the books. The timing is too convenient. There's a chance it could be a trap. Should we wait and see first? Haruka, is this reinforcements request coming from Seiron? Yes, it's an official OSF request. Then we have to answer. We're part of the Seiron OSF now. You're right. Besides, we can't just abandon people who need our help. Let's do what we can. Well then, time to find out what's waiting for us. Let's get this show on the road. Are you alright? Are you with Kasane Platoon? Everything should be fine now that you're here. Don't talk. You're wounded badly. I'll fix you up as best I can. I'm okay. But you have to help my teammates first. The truck is still under attack. It's another. But it was... human. Those Suo bastards transformed someone into an other and... <laughs> uh, transformed into another? This is a critical mission. You have to protect the truck and get it to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. <sighs> this is valuable information. 
Wait here for rescue. We'll take care of everything. Haruka! I've already requested a rescue team. The Supernatural Life Research Facility. Isn't that the lab Naomi was in? Let's hurry. They won't get away with turning people into others. Oh, I wasn't going to go rush off on my own again. Are we all on board? I hate to agree, but I'm all for hurrying. Thank you, Sheedan. No need for thanks. Now come on, or I'm gonna leave you behind. Kasane is finally showing her vulnerable side. Or maybe she's just expanded her horizons. <laughs> I'm so happy we're all getting along. Now, let's go help the transport team. That must be the truck. I don't see any members of the transport team. Hey, look, by the truck. There's someone there. They're hitting it with a stick or something. This is a damn sturdy door. Can't even hack it. Just break it down already. My arms are getting tired. Is that Kodama? What are you doing? Well, if it isn't the traitors. How have you been? Hmm? Why do you look so scared? Kodama, did you turn someone into an other and make them attack this transport team? I mean, this was headed for the Seiron Research Facility. I figured it had to have something important. You're trying to find out what they're researching by digging through their cargo? I swear, your methods are insane. It's the fastest way. So anyway, can you let me go just this once? Pretty please? Yeah, I don't think so. That's too bad. Well, I guess we're doing this. Don't get mad at me when I kill you! Hey, not bad. You're a lot stronger than before. You all deserve a nice round of applause. Kodama, throw down your weapon and don't make any sudden movements. We have a lot of questions for you. Well, you do have me surrounded. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Just kidding. What? You expected I wouldn't have a plan? What? <laughs> bye bye now. Looks like she got away. At least the truck seems fine. Do you want to escort it back to the facility then? Hmm. It did seem like it was an important mission from what the transport team member said. Maybe we should. Then I'll contact the superiors about the suppression assignment. Wait! I'm getting a reading nearby. It's not the Seiron OSF. It could be more of Kodama's men. Well, we obviously don't want anyone following the truck. So I'll go check it out and stop them here if it comes to that. Oh, I'm definitely tagging along, Major Kyoka. If it's an ambush, then I'm just the man for the job. It's my specialty. Arashi, please get this truck back to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. And it's go time. Good luck, kids. Weren't we supposed to discuss things first? Let it go. Anyway, we'll leave that to Kyoka and Kagero. We have a truck to transport. Does it still run? Sure does. It's got a few scrapes, but nothing serious. The truck bed's reinforced armor is full of dents. And Kodama did all this with just a metal pipe. Unbelievable. It's just stupid how incredibly strong she is. Hmm. Where have you been? Hurry up and unload the truck. I need to go get the lab ready. Great, now they're making us do manual labor too? This is turning out to be more of a pain than I thought. Haruka, any word from Kyoka or Kagero? Not yet. It's hard to get a good signal to Mizuhagawa. I think it's because of the extinction belt above. I see. Then let's get this over with. Can you all hear me? Great, you're all right. What about Kagero? You know me. I normally say I'm ship shape, but we've actually found ourselves in a tight spot. It wasn't Kodama's men in Mizuhagawa. It was Yuito Platoon, and they noticed the truck. Yuito Platoon? Did you two... Yes. We couldn't have anyone following the truck. So we did what we had to do. 
which was fight them. It was only to buy some time, though. Then we used Major Kyoka's duplication and my invisibility to lose them. Which is how the story would go in a perfect world, but they've got Sugumi's eyes on their side. Ah, her clairvoyance. We can't let our guards down. We'll try to rendezvous back with you after we throw them off our trail. You should still be careful, though. Copy that. Contact us if anything happens. Sorry, guys. Due to the extinction belt, I can't track Yuito Platoon. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just have to finish this annoying work first. We managed to get one truck unloaded. They all look like the same boxes. Huh. <sighs> Shiden, what's wrong? Are you tired? What? No, I'm not tired. I was just curious what this cargo was. That's it. Damn! What are you doing? You can't unlock private cargo just because you're curious. No! It just unlocked on its own. <sighs> what is it? Did you find an other inside or something? Look. Hmm? What is it? Th this is... A human... head? This one too. All of these cases. They're filled with heads. What are they going to use them for? Wait... Food? Naomi said she takes the medication in the ampules. These are probably used to research the other weapons. Or maybe... No, I shouldn't be tossing around any theories at this point. So, basically, these human heads are being transported from Togetsu? That researcher mentioned getting the lab ready. We might be able to find something if we search the facility. We're not done unloading the truck, but I can't stop thinking about this. Let's go check out where he went. Really do hate this place. The stench is just awful. I was right. It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. Others feed on human brains, and this facility houses others, and... Ampules! How could... these ampules... But that means Naomi! Intruders were just detected coming in from the facility's rear entrance. I've also received an update on our assignment from Seiron. The intruders are Yuito Sumeragi and new Himuka OSF members, and we are to eliminate them, no matter what. Damn it! Of course they'd come now! Seems like Seiron really wants Yuito dead. They must be desperate to eliminate the threat the Kunad Gate poses. Eliminate them. What are you going to do, Kasane? We should kill him. To save the world. But I know I haven't been listening to anyone else. So maybe Yuito wants to talk to me, like all of you did. Wait, one more thing. If we refuse this assignment, they said they would dispose of the research subjects in order to bury the evidence. <sighs> So they're taking Naomi as a hostage! Yeah. And knowing that Naomi is your one soft spot, I probably would have done the same if I were them. But can they really do that? She's still an important research subject to them. And there's no way Major General Karin would let them. He didn't want Yuito to be assassinated. That may be true, but that still doesn't prove that Karin would protect Naomi. Although I can't picture him treating human-born others like mere objects either. However, this assignment came to us officially, which means there's a chance it came with Karin's approval. They could also be bluffing. What's important isn't whether or not they're bluffing. It's how certain we are they won't harm Naomi. That's... And it doesn't help that we've already failed one assassination attempt. This response seems natural if they suspect we have ulterior motives. It's not like we can break Naomi out and take her with us. Does that mean we have no other choice but to fight Yuito? Hmm... Let's hide. Are you serious? Naomi is in danger! I know, but fighting them out in the open wouldn't be smart. We should hide in the next area and ambush them. That would give us an excuse to leave here and would buy us some time to think. Haruka, report our plan to them. We'll lie and wait for the intruders and stand by for an opportunity to attack. Copy that. Good luck.
UHF platoon is headed to the factory block as predicted. They will arrive in 30 seconds. We've been ordered to send the control system data to Seiron after we make contact with Yuito. In other words, they'll be monitoring your conversation. Be careful. Understood. Yuito platoon arriving in 5, 4, 3. What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <sighs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place. And the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. Well, we have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiving. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said... Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. Knowing the strength of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. That's fine with me, too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. <sighs> 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 Damn it! Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical Seiron Factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! Snap out of it already! Making drugs out of human heads is crazy! We have to stop them! But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's... You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. Uh, well... Why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karn's permission. <sighs> There's been a change in plans. I am cancelling your assignment. Await your next orders. 
Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Ceyron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Ceyron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others, or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? His brain is... <laughs> Yuito... Yuito? <sighs> Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. <sighs> I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? That's right. Naomi! I'm coming, Naomi! Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. Drugs in the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. But... brains? <laughs> that makes me no different... <laughs> from the others! That's not true! You're still you! <laughs> Thank you... But I have to be honest... This is too much for me... I can't do it... I don't want to live if it means other people have to die... Wait! I'll find a way to turn you back, so please don't give up! I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi... You undisciplined rats! I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now! Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? 
I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. So, Seiron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. He'll be able to do it. Why is Seiron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Seiron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. The Extinction Belt? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others. While Seiron believes they need the Extinction Belt. The differing views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Seiron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Seiron, on the other hand... Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Seiron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the Extinction Belt. Kagura, what do you think would happen if the Extinction Belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. More importantly, Kasane. What? What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beet red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. 
It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history, and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something, given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Seiron and the research facility, and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy, I don't like the way this is going. Alright. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings. And it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, 
why don't you work on your people skills too? I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Oh! Kasane! What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for- <clears throat> We'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shiden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka, was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well... I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. <clears throat> Kasane, it's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to stop her. Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shiden? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <gasps> Damn it. I should have known from the way it looked. No, wake up, Shiden! <laughs> ah, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane! Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. I can make you some porridge then. <laughs> I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours.
there. This doesn't solve everything, but at least he won't ask me about it. He's someone I may have to kill eventually. I need to make sure we interact as seldom as possible. Or else I might lose my nerve when the time comes. <sighs> He's kind of strange. He's not like Naomi or Captain Seto. It's not like I found him especially interesting, so why couldn't I just ignore him? Oh well, he can't contact me anymore. For now, I just need to focus on Naomi. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still, I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here. My retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die. Someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! <laughs> Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean, for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, and it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out.
Masane, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes, I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine, so I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy, but there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry, I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Kasane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that! It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead, and you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, 
But she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Kasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Hmm, huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input, but I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame, but my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts, but it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight more or less. That may be true, but think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength. But I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied though, so I guess this was okay. Hey Kasane, are we positively absolutely going to Togetsu? Of course we are. 
At the very least, we should be able to learn something about the cargo sent to the research facility. I understand that you have bad memories of that place. This time we can make good memories of it. Or is there some other reason you don't want to go to Togetsu? If that's the case, nobody would blame you for staying behind. Do you want to stay behind with me? Ugh, fine. Just don't blame me if it sucks. I did warn you. We're prepared for the consequences. Kagero, show us the way. Yes, ma'am. I know they said it would be cold, but this is freezing. I heard that it snows all year round in some areas. Don't catch your death out there. <sighs> At least there's a road. What the hell do you think Togetsu is thinking building a city in a place like this? It's cold, it sucks, and it's a pain in the ass. I haven't even been this far on assignment before. Who's down for turning back? Everyone? Great. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Enough of that. We already decided we're going, so stop complaining. I think you're going to regret it. You seem awfully opposed to this. Are you hiding something about Togetsu from us? Not at all. You know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like you're pretty eager to get us all there. It's something we all decided, didn't we, Kasane? Yes, and you agreed in the end. I wouldn't call that agreeing. <sighs> Can't win them all, I guess. In any case, we need information, and that requires us to go to Togetsu. Now stop complaining. It's... freezing. And no more mentioning the cold. I didn't really have time to research Togetsu before we left. I don't know much about it either, other than the fact that the Togetsu Faith is headquartered there. How big is the city? Technically, it's not a city. It only has the facility for the Faith itself. It's full of weirdos with creepy obsessions about the moon. Honestly, the place was a nightmare. I don't think you should be calling them weirdos. People are free to believe what they want. You might not have many good memories, but I think it's important for you to make an effort to understand them. Yeah, yeah. A blizzard is kicking up. Haruka, what's the weather supposed to be like around here? That's strange. It should be clear and sunny according to the data. There aren't any readings of a blizzard. Oh, I'm reading another! Closing in from the front! A big one! Be careful! <laughs> Other causing the blizzard? Good job. There are no more other readings in the area. Ugh. I'm always amazed at the variety of others. What exactly are others? Who knows? Could be the twisted work of evolution. How far is Togetsu? Isn't it dangerous that these others are appearing so close? Others feed on humans, which there aren't a lot of here, so they really don't have that much of an incentive to attack. New Himuka probably approved Togetsu's religious state because of this location. Let's hurry on ahead while we still have the chance. We don't want to run into another one. Also, oh, I'm starting to freeze like Arashi. Right. Hmm? Hey Kagura, where are you going? What's over there? I thought I'd say hi to an old friend. I want to know if anything's changed since I was here last. Sorry I won't be able to show you around, but you guys should go on ahead. I'll catch up to you soon. Don't worry, I've come this far. I'm not going to turn around and leave now. Well, see ya! I can never take him seriously. I was hoping Kagura would stick around to introduce you, since no one knows you there. It's fine. We'll just have to do it ourselves. I hope they let us inside. What is it, Kyoka? 
Oh, it's nothing. We should get going. Lady Kasane. Our treasure. You have finally returned. What's going on? Why would I be your treasure? That's quite a welcome they're giving you. I don't know, it's still unsettling. They're like robots. Shiden, don't be rude. I'm sure it's just their custom. Either way, this is a pretty excessive reception. You have any idea why they do this? No. I've never been involved with the Togetsu faith in any way. You would understandably not remember. However, you are originally from Togetsu. I'm... from here? Yes. You were born with an incredible power. This drew the interest of New Himuka, and they abducted you. I don't know what you're up to, but you're lying. My parents were killed by others when I was young. That's why the Randall family took me in. I understand your disbelief. However, those of us in Togetsu have not forgotten you for even a single day. We stood fast, having faith you would return to us one day. This is getting us nowhere. We came here to ask questions. Let's scratch the formalities. We want to know about the brains you've been trading to Seiron. Yes, we must tell you the truth. However, we will share it only with you. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask you to come with us alone. No. Whatever you tell me, I'm going to tell them anyway. So why don't you save us the time and just talk to us here? <laughs> Kyoka? But your clothes are different, so it's not duplication. There's another fake Kyoka over here. What's going on? <clears throat> Let me go! What the hell? Clones? How is this happening? What's going on? Kyoka, did you know? I'm sorry, Kasane. <gasps> this feeling... I felt it before. Good night, Kasane. May you have the most pleasant dreams. Congratulations, Kasane. You're finally awake. Kasane? Kasane! Who... Who's calling my name? <laughs> Look at that! It's a puppy! Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think he's simply adorable. Wouldn't you agree? A puppy? I feel so... safe... and warm. Do I... know this woman? <laughs> him. The puppy. That's right. I remember. We were always together. My beloved friend. They killed him. They killed him right in front of me. <sighs> no change. Her power failed to trigger. It seems the pet's death is not a sufficient enough shock. Please stop. Kasane is just a child. Do you think emotionally torturing her will actually save the future? The design children were created for that purpose. She is not a failure like you. We need the Red Strings to reset this mistaken universe and bring about the proper future. We don't need to reset anything. This world is fine the way it is. It's Mother. So warm. And kind. She always protected me. 
How could I have forgotten? No, I don't want to remember. This feeling... What is this? She has been a complete failure. I had thought making her an attendant would at least prove somewhat useful. I guess enough time has passed. We'll use this next. That's right. I knew it. They... You should feel honored, you failure. You will become the foundation of a new era. They killed Mother! I'm sorry, Kasane. Please find happiness. That's right. That's the day I lost her. The one who raised me. My mother. I'm an artificially created psionic? Red strings power. Uh, my head. Uh, where am I? Was that a dream? No, that wasn't a dream. It was memories of a forgotten past. Where am I? If they went through the trouble of drugging me, I knew it. They locked me in. Maybe I can break through somewhere. Who's there? Lady Kasane, I have brought you fresh clothing. Huh? Hey! What's going on? Whoa, chill. Don't get your panties in a bunch, Kasane. It's just me, good old Kagero. What kind of princess attacks their prince charming when he comes to rescue her? Your decision to run off just before we entered Togetsu was pretty suspicious. What do you know? Are you planning on betraying us like Kyoka? If I was going to betray you, I wouldn't be here to rescue you. Why don't you calm down and use your head? I told you you'd regret coming here. Anyway, I'll explain later. This place is bad news. It's way worse than the last time I was here. Also, and I haven't a clue as to why, but it seems like Yuito's here too. Yuito? That's not good. They're after my red strings, which means they'll probably target him too because he has the same power. Then I guess we'll have to save him too. This really puts a damper on my plans. Can't believe I have to sneak past their defenses, meet up with Arashi and the others, and also warn Yuito about the danger. Anyway, I'm going to use my power to turn us invisible. They'll figure out you're gone right away, so we don't have much time. Let's go. Kasane, I found Yuito. You see that door? It leads to the city computer babe. We should follow them inside. Oopsies, it's locked. They won't be able to hear us from in there. We'll have to wait until they come out. Are you serious? Think about what they just did to you. He probably wouldn't be able to answer even if he could hear you. What do you mean? Babe is a super top secret facility. They're not just gonna go ahead and let some outsider in so easily. But if they used it as bait, Oh, I see. <laughs> Those wily bastards. What is it? Tell me. I'm thinking that a computer belonging to the city would be fully capable of hijacking any mind that accesses it. That'd be the fastest way for them to get to Yuito's power. Then we have to break down this door right now. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We'll be found too. That's probably the worst thing we could do. There's gotta be another way. I know. I might be able to force a brain talk connection from here. Can you hear me, Yuito? Yuito! Yuito! 
this feels like. And SAS. Yuito, are your thoughts leaking? Are you trying to connect to Babe? What is... I can't... My body... Is his brain really being hijacked like Kagura said? Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous! Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? <laughs> Kasane? <sighs> it seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. He's talking to his team while I'm still connected. I think he's safe now. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. Wait, if he unlocks everything... Alarms? Guess that was to be expected. Kasane. Kasane? Arashi? Good. I can finally get through to you. Seems like you're okay. I'm glad you're okay too, Shiden. Let's rendezvous. I know where you are, so just wait for me to get there. Hey, I'm not some kind of lost child. I'll take care of the locked little boy. Hurry up and get us. Looks like you two aren't hurt. <laughs> of course not. I was more worried about you, but it looks like you're fine. Thanks to Kagero, I'd still be locked up if it wasn't for him. I guess it means your shady lone wolf nature came in handy. Guess so. Now, as much as I'd love to stick around for this touching, heartwarming reunion, time is of the essence here. You're right. We should try to escape in all this confusion. Looks like we made it out. Man, my invisibility power really saved the day. I'll admit that invisibility is useful, but doesn't it make you uneasy to have nobody notice you? Right? You totally get me. That's why I like to shout after I use my power. Damn you and your impulses. We're still in enemy territory. What if someone finds us? No need to worry about that. They've already found us. Right, Kyoka? So you noticed me. What are you doing here, Kyoka? I was already on alert when Kagero disappeared. Unfortunately, an unexpected visitor caused me to fall behind. I can't let you leave. We need you to reset this mistaken universe. Here she comes. Get ready. Uh, uh, uh! Kyoka! There's too much stress on her brain. S stop This is not... I don't know these theories. These memories aren't mine. I'm not Pope! What are you talking about? Have your memories been manipulated? I wouldn't put something like that past Togetsu. Kyoka, you have to remember, you're Kyoka Eden, our teammate. I'm not sure that's going to work. If what I think happened really did, Kyoka's consciousness is the one that got tacked on after. I don't know how much you know, but she's trying to fight whatever they did to her memory. If you can do something, help her! You want to help her even though she's a Togetsu spy? Oh, stuff it, Kagero. I want to get my teammate back. Yeah, yeah. Kyoka. No. Major Kyoka. I... I'm losing sight of who I am as well. But so many memories are helping me piece myself together as Kasane Randall. One of those memories is you welcoming me into Kyoka Platoon. You're Kyoka Eden. You're the commander who made me who I am. Kasane! Everyone! Are you okay? 
Sorry. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Kyoka, I'm so relieved. You're back. Not so fast. As much as I'd like that to be true, she could just be pretending. Arashi! I thought you wanted to bring Kyoka back! Sorry, but I'm not an idealist posing as a realist like you. I'm skeptical precisely because I want her back. Yes. You're right to be skeptical. I... I really am a spy for Togetsu. Since when? How long have you been deceiving us? Since the beginning. I'm a Togetsu spy sent in to infiltrate Suo. We needed to awaken Kasane's power in order to fulfill Togetsu's agenda. My orders were to secretly protect Kasane, help her grow, and then lead her back to Togetsu once her Red String's power was awakened. I see. If you're planning on putting your espionage behind you, then I want you to tell me something. Who is Pope? Does it have to do with the way you acted? I have the memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the neuroscience expert and founder of the Togetsu Faith. I used to be Dr. Pope herself a long time ago, but as I spent my years as Kyoka, Kyoka's memories began to build on each other, and they continued to grow stronger every day. It was only a matter of time before her personality took hold. Kasane, I didn't protect you because I was ordered to by Togetsu. I loved you. I loved you and everyone else on the team. Honestly, I loved everything about my life as Kiyoka Eden. I knew this day would come, but I prayed so hard that it wouldn't. I had always hoped that your Red String's power would never awaken. Not that you would believe me. Whether we believe you isn't important. What do you want to do? What? Arashi said you should only answer if you thought you're done being a spy. And you did. Are you planning on going back to Togetsu and spy for them again? What is it that you want to do? You still haven't told us yet. I... I... I am one of the design children. A clone that was created to carry out my mission. That was all I was required to think about. Failure means death. That used to be everything to the old me. But now it's different. Now, I have something I want to do. I can't be sure how much I can hold back Pope's consciousness. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to suppress it. So, being with me might put everyone in danger. I know what I did is unforgivable, and that I'm in no position to ask you for anything, but... This is where I want to be, with all of you. I want to protect Kasane. I want to protect all of you, because you gave my life meaning. I believe you. I couldn't imagine that the warmth and kindness I've witnessed from you were all lies. You may be a little nosy from time to time, but that's just who you are. Yeah, that's the Kyoka I know. If that was an act, then we deserve to be tricked. And don't worry. If this Pope ever does come out, I'll put you out of your misery. You can be assured of that. So basically, you're saying you'll kill her if she betrays us. That's kind of scary. It's nice you could joke about it. But unlike Kyoka, who told us everything, you haven't done anything to earn our trust. Ouch, that hurts. You know, I'm the one who saved Kasane. Look, we can talk about me once we get out of here. I'm guessing they'll send more people after us when they realize Kyoka is missing. That's true. Well, let's hurry then. Come on, Kyoka. You too. <gasps> Nobody here objects, so obviously, you're coming. Thank you, all of you. I wonder why I'm so obsessed with the term design children. I'll have to ask about it again later. Kasane, I'm getting multiple human readings some distance away. I believe it's Yuito Platoon. 
Copy that. Seems like they made it out too. Would be nice if we could exchange information with them. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Dogetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. If we're exchanging information, what are we going to tell them about Kyoka? I think we should tell them the truth. I just feel we'll regret it later if we try to hide it. Besides, there's something about Togetsu I haven't been able to tell you yet. But let's wait until we meet up with Yuito and his team. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to know what it is. But yeah, it'll be more efficient to hear it then. Well, let's head their way then. It's Yuito Platoon. Let's go. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. So my power affected the Kunad Gate. So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying. Just like Naomi. Alright. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of Mother. Yes. She said I was... made. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. 
You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes. I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first? It may be hard to believe, but apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. The people who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. So, I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon too? Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. 
They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No. That's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great, Noel. But how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust your judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Ugh, <sighs> what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that! At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan! I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. 
That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagura, you're both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Seiron after we get some rest. Kusane, do you remember when I said I wanted you to help me with a job? For payment of the rations that you treated me to. Yeah, I'm going to cash that in now. Don't worry, the job will be worth your time. What are all these? Looks like empty bottles, junk parts, candy wrappers... And they're all mixed together. Exactly. I need you to sort them. Why do you have so much? I kinda got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash bag for me, too. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Now what could this be? You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out, too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. So, anything surprising? No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up, and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still... Arashi, remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hands sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. Then good luck here. I'll be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. Hey, Kasane, you free right now? I guess so. What is it this time? You remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only Daddy Kagero. You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You shattered my fragile heart into itty-bitty pieces. You're still bothered by that? Fine, I'll say it was fun. No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for it. Besides, 
You know how I hid my past? I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second chance coupled with an apology. The apology is fine, but I don't know why it has to be with a date. It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes, please. Let me show you a good time you won't forget. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very popular with high school girls. I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'll get you anything you want. Cake? Parfait, maybe? I'm fine with just tea. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Already got a cup. Wait, when did you... Oh, you used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun when you pretend you don't. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match for you. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines, but they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for lying. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing someone. Is it that easy for you to do? I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily. Even if it is to achieve your goal. There's no way I could do that. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value life or anything like that. But yeah, if I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... alive, I guess you could say. I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his family and everyone he knew is long gone. Your family. You mentioned you left them on the moon. Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. She didn't have a bad bone in her body. I loved her dearly and she meant so much to me. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for her as a father. What's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to be. I mean, really, could I be a worse father? That's why, at the very least, I want to protect the life she lived. I'll do whatever it takes, even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even kill if it comes down to it. <sighs> How about we leave this off here? I think you've heard enough. All right. So, what did you think of Daddy Kagero's date? Pretty awesome, right? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. I think I learned a little about who you are. Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful, charming person I am. Oh, I'm such a heartbreaker. Although, I still don't know how serious you are because you always joke around. You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. See you later. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better, but trying to understand other people isn't that easy. 
Boy, you really are capable, Kasane. I'm detecting some sarcasm. If I was being sarcastic, I'd say it sarcastically. I have a pretty good eye for people. Just accept the compliment. You really are getting along well with the guys in this platoon. My hat's off to you. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, Kasane. Oh. What is it? N nothing But you just look like you noticed something. Did you see something with your clairvoyance? <sighs> well, I won't pry if it's uncomfortable for you to share. Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee? You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. You might have hit it during a fight. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it in my last fight. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave a mark. Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I'm surprised you noticed. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg when you were walking over here. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be thanking you for telling me about my injury. Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. It's not good to use my power without permission like that. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. I suppose that would be the general consensus. Some things are off limits. I'm not a child anymore, but I'm still doing the same stuff as back then. Did something happen when you were younger? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something I necessarily should see. When I told people what I saw, they would get uncomfortable and sometimes get scared of me. I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that, that looking underneath someone's clothes or inside their home was bad. Is it really so bad? What? I mean... Nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. You wouldn't like that, would you? To be honest, that wouldn't really bother me. Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Are you saying you can see inside people's bodies too? Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. That means your power can save lives. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a wonderful power. Uh, you're the first person other than Kagro to say that. That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effectiveness quite highly. They tell me it's effective in battle, but my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders, though. Well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you, for finding my injury. By the way, didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh, we can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure. See you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. I can't help but be a little concerned. Next time I see her, I need to make sure we talk. Gamma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you too, to apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, 
I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other, her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live, no matter what it meant. But now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give them a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes, although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body. And about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously, but I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious, but I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can't exactly take our time on this one. Togetsu could have sent people after you too. Be careful out there. I'll do what I can on my end to support you. Man, Haruka, you're great. I thought Yuito Platoon's Wataru was pretty good, but hey, you're not so bad yourself. Gotta hand it to our twins for all their support, right? Love ya! It would have been the perfect compliment if you didn't mention my brother, but thank you. Uh, you have no shame? What? Aren't you ashamed that you just can't pay anyone a compliment? If anyone should feel ashamed, it's you. Kyoka, Arashi, let's go. It seems like Kagero and Shiden want to mess around. Well, you heard her, Shiden. Want to mess around then? So what will it be? A fist fight? Power battle? A youngin like you won't best me. Shut up! Don't make me part of your antics! Anyway, if we're going to talk to Seiron, where should we start? I suppose we should think about that before we head there. Yeah, we don't have any connections with the Seiron government. What about your influence with the press, Arashi? 
I'm good at using them to promote an image. But getting them to do what I want, when I want, is a different story. Moreover, we're talking about politics here. Getting people to believe us is not going to be an easy task. This is the type of information that would be better spread among the people as a rumor, than inform them once enough interest builds. An impressive analysis from a former spy. I... I know that's a compliment, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hmm? Hey, let's get back on topic. What about that official from before? The guy who asked us to assassinate Yuito? Hmm... We had that disagreement over Naomi. I doubt he'd be willing to hear us out after that. Karin might be able to get through to the Seiron government. Right, Major General Karin. It does seem like he could. He left in a hurry when we last saw him at the facility where they were keeping Naomi. I wonder where he is now. Wait! Something is happening at the Supernatural Life Research Facility! Good thing we decided to monitor it. They're starting to transport the other weapons! Transport? What do you mean? Their destination is Mizuhagawa. Naomi is included. What are they planning on doing with her? Probably nothing good, considering all the trouble they're going through. Did they leave some kind of plan behind? They need some reason to be doing this. Wait, it's mostly been redacted, but I found one. Oh, they have the name of the person in charge. No, it can't be! Tell us who it is already. The one trying to take the other weapons? It's Major General Fubuki! Fubuki? Why? There was always a possibility that he was somehow involved, considering the research facility is operated by Spring Pharmaceuticals. I'm just wondering about Major General Karin and whether or not he's involved. Because if he is... I don't care about the reason right now. We can ask them when we get there. You're absolutely right. But either way, we still have to go rescue Naomi. Yeah. Should be easy to talk if Fubuki's in charge. I can't imagine they have enough people with the transfer power to carry all the other weapons at once. Even with the shuttling, they will have to take breaks between transfers. We should still have time to make it. We should hurry before it's too late. I can see Naomi, and it looks like more human-born others. So they can actually control others. That's Kodama Platoon. Are they transporting them to Suo? What do you want to do? You want to try contacting Major General Fubuki through Brain Talk? We don't have time for that. We're going to get right in their faces. Arashi, can I leave the negotiation with the Major General to you? I think that's best. I should be the one to do it. Just be ready to fight if things go south. I'm ready. I think we all are. Okay. Let's go. Fubuki, Kodama, what are you doing? Ah! What are you doing here? Kasane? Arashi? Kodama, I need you to stand down. You got it, Master Fubuki. Okay, guys, you'd better not try to pull a fast one, or I'm gonna get mad. What are you doing here? More importantly, why did you side with Karin? It's left Suo in a mess. If you tell me that Karin tricked all of you, I can talk to the higher-ups in New Himuka on your behalf. Thanks for the generous offer, but we've got some questions for you first. These others you're transporting, do you know what they are? Of course I do. They're weaponized, human-born others. So what exactly are you planning on doing with them? I've received information that Karin is gathering people with powers in Mizuhagawa. According to my investigation, He's planning on joining forces with Togetsu, taking with him technology he stole from Suo and Seiron. I want to stop him. I see. So you needed extra help in the fight against Karin and thought to use the other weapons to get the upper hand. Yes. Even he should be reluctant to attack human-born others. If it should come to a fight, as long as we have these other weapons... Arashi, what are you...
Kodama? Did we just get duped? Hold on, why are there two Kodamas? Take this! Ugh, missed. Harashi's hypervelocity is annoying. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Is she using duplication? No, she's not. And I don't sense anything close to my power. She's real. Who in their right mind freaking attacks their younger brother with a chainsaw without hesitation? I didn't hesitate because there's no way Fubuki would use human-born others to attack Karin. Not if she is among the others here. He would never consider using the other weapons in an actual fight. Maybe Fubuki was only following someone's orders after being subjected to a personality rehabilitation. Then it would have been my duty as his sister to stop him at any cost. Even if it means cutting him down. What a scary sister. <sighs> I thought I did a pretty good job. Great. This is why it's a pain when someone they're close to shows up. I don't care about your issues. Who are you? Are you design children from Togetsu too? Design what now? We're Suo kids, born and raised. I guess there's no sense in hiding it at this point, since you know there's two of us already. I'm Yuta Malone, Kodama's older twin sister. I'd say nice to meet you, but we've already met each other a few times now. You're twins? Something felt off when Seiron's transport team was attacked. It's because that Kodama we saw was actually Yuta. Exactly. Wasn't my transformation power amazing? Normally, I'd hate showing myself. But how could I not when it means getting to see my hero, Kasane? What? Hero? Oh, just remembering how you crushed Kodama like a bug? <laughs> Sends a shiver down my spine. Cut that out! You sound like a total creep! And stop acting like you were there! You're always ordering me around from behind the scenes! I like being valued by the new Himuka government, but I'm the one who's always getting stuck with the annoying work! Stupid Kodama! Stop blabbing everything to them! So you're working for new Himuka. Are you planning on using Naomi and the other weapons for a war? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Unfortunately, now that you learned our secret, we're going to have to kill you. Sorry, but this is the end of the road for you! I'll never let you use Naomi. You're the ones who are about to be ended. <sighs> Dang it. They got us. I'm still throbbing from Kasane's attacks. Not another word. I hate that we're related. We've got you now. Give up. <laughs> I just got a good idea. You said Naomi is in there. Seems like a good opportunity to try out the other weapons. Whoa, Yuta. That's messed up. No, don't! It's showtime! <laughs> so they really do obey your commands. Whoever came up with this is sick in the head. Naomi! Oh, is this what they call overkill? I wanted to take Kasane home with me and make her my pet. Naomi, can you hear me? It's me, Kasane! Kasane... What? What is this attack? Suo reinforcements? No, it's... To get to. It's a design children army. Damn it, they came after Kasane. Who are those guys? They just straight up ruined my plan. Well, I'm not getting caught in the middle of this. It sucks to lose the other weapons, but hey, their survival didn't really matter to the plan anyway. Looks like they're after you guys. Have fun now. Show them a good time for us. Until we meet again, Kasane. We'll be sure to have lots of fun together next time. They just teleported out. I still had a lot of questions for them. Uh, 
These guys really don't hold back. Their tactics only work because they're using disposable design children. I can't get through to any of them. They've shut off all the connections I used in Togetsu. Guess they're not interested in talking. Do we have an escape plan? I'm looking, but I've got nothing. There's no way out of this unless you can teleport out of there. What are you saying? Everything's okay. Naomi? I finally understand why I was turned into this other. It was to protect you. What are you talking about? I'll draw them away. You can't take them on all alone, even if you are another. I'm not alone. Everyone said they would help, too. Don't, Naomi. You can't. I'll find another way out. I'm sorry. You always had to take care of me. Let me be your big sister this one last time. <laughs> Everyone, we need to get to safety. She would want us to survive. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Naomi! Naomi! Looks like we made it. Naomi and the others. Wait! Naomi! Naomi? Oh no. Naomi! You can't die. I need you. Hey. When you become such a crybaby. <gasps> Hello, Kasane. Naomi, you're alive. Thank goodness. You came back for me, Kasane. Even though it put you all in such danger. I'm glad you're okay. I couldn't bear if something happened to you. Naomi, your injuries. Are you in pain? No, I don't feel them. They can't hurt me anymore. Becoming this monstrous thing. Using drugs made of human brains if I wanted to keep being myself. It was so... awful. I wanted to die. But I'm glad I was alive today. I'm so glad. Hold on, Naomi. What are you saying? I was here... to perform one final act of humanity. They made me this. 
that they couldn't take my... my soul. Thank you, Kasane. My sister. Live a long life for both of us. Leave me. No. <laughs> Naomi, why? you been, Karin? Alice. I failed. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Major General Karin? I have to use this again. What are you talking about? They killed my sister! Why did she have to die to protect me? Why did this have to happen to her? Silence. We can use the red strings. <laughs> Karin, are you eating her power? <gasps> this happened before. I'll try again. As many times as it takes. Yuito, where is he right now? He's gone. He must have teleported. Did he just say Yuito? You're right. That was his brain eater. He just copied my red strings. Yes, but he didn't appear to use it. Since Major General Karin is not a red strings user like Kasane, he might need some sort of condition to activate the power. Could that condition be Yuito? If we take the connection between time travel and the Kunad Gate into account, Karin is trying to get his hands on the power that opened the Kunad Gate. But why is he trying to travel through time? Alice was definitely one of those among the others. Is he intending to go back and... Who the heck is Alice? I don't care about what Karin wants. If he uses the red strings, it might have adverse effects on the Kunad Gate. <laughs> Don't try to push yourself. His brain eater power taxes your brain heavily. If that's true, then what about Yuito? Didn't they say his brain was already messed up or something? Yuito might not be able to withstand the brain eater. All the more reason to stop Karin. We'll need to contact him. Yuito Platoon is currently within Arahabaki's secure site and isolated from the network. Arahabaki? Really? Yes. After what Major General Karin said, I managed to get Wataru to tell me Yuito's location. Oh, you might already know this, but Wataru is my brother. He's Yuito Platoon's operator. He's concerned because he lost contact with them too. He wasn't sure if his telepathy was reaching them. Okay, thank you. Arahabaki is in Suo. It looks like that's where we're going. Great. Not only Togetsu, but now we have Major General Karin to add to the list of people trying to mess with the Red Strings. Are you alright, Kasane? It sounds like Yuito is in danger. I know you're worried about him too, Naomi. That's why I'm going to go save him. It still doesn't feel real to me. How could you be gone? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. Thank you. Thank you for protecting me until the very end. Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. S 
Something's not right. Where are all the people? Wait. The National Defense Forces are here. It looks like New Himuka put Yuito Platoon on the wanted list. That's why they've issued a state of emergency. You can see there was a battle here. Look over there. Someone is on the ground. A body. Maybe they got caught up in the fight. We need to worry about ourselves. Don't forget that we're also government fugitives. That's true. Haruka, can you show us a safe route to Arahabaki? My brother can. Let me patch him through. Wataru here. No time for hellos. I'll get straight to the point. I'm currently unable to get in contact with Yuito Platoon. Let me help you so I can confirm their safety. I sent you a route to Arahabaki's secure site. The entrance is still open from when they pass through. The route is classified information, so this is just between us. Okay. Great job, Wataru. Let's head to Arahabaki. What's going on? We're all getting a forced transmission. This is a video of Chief Sumeragi. We were sent to Earth, our motherland, in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the extinction belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the extinction belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason Nuhimuka exists. Even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, Nuhimuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I! Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Oh, it looks like Yuito came through. This was our plan, to send out this video to every citizen. Yakumo Sumeragi's wish? He wasn't the kind of man to seek vengeance at the expense of the people. That's a disingenuous interpretation. So Seiron wants to keep the extinction belt, because if it disappeared, it would mean war with the moon. This could be bad. People are just going to panic now that they know. Guys, don't let the video distract you. I'm getting other readings close by. How did they get so close to us? Get ready, everyone. Be careful. Our signal... Haruka? It seems like there's some signal interference. An earthquake? This far down? Yuito! Are you okay? That was Hanabi. Let's hurry. Say something, Yuito! Hanabi! What happened? Where's Karin? Kasane! He attacked and captured everyone, but then Yuito started screaming in pain. We were all hacked by Arahabaki. I think something must have happened to Yuito when we were dealing with that. Afterwards, Karin activated some power and disappeared. Kasane, do you have any idea about that? What are we going to do? 
He used the red strings. I don't know what Major General Karin did, but it's clear that it had some adverse effect on Yuito's brain. But his brain is already... He's exhibited signs of speech and memory impairment before, but never to this extent. He went to the hospital, but they said it was only exhaustion. Wait! Yuito, we're right here! No! He can't hear us. Then we'll brain talk directly to his mind. Yuito! What is this? I can't get connected. Is there something wrong with the system? I don't think so. The brain talk system allows thought communication after both parties recognize and grant each other access. I can't be certain. But Yuito's consciousness may be starting to disappear. So this could lead to severe memory loss? As much as I hate to say it, Yuito might lose all his memories. Then what'll happen to Yuito? It could be said that memories make up the person. If they're all lost, it would be like that person just disappeared. No! That can't happen! Then we'll just have to re-establish the connections. Re-establish? What do you mean? We can digitize our memories and send them into Yuito. It should be possible with the SAS. That's crazy! There's no way that'll work! No, actually it might. Personality rehabilitation research has proposed a theory for transplanting memories. Okay. Tell me everything you know. I'll program whatever we need. Wait, you're going to do that right now? Of course. Who do you think I am? Although I can't say it won't be without difficulties. I'll do what I can if it means saving Yuito. We'll get over any difficulties. No hesitation. Not even for a second. That's what I like to see. Very nice. His brain might die if we don't do something. We can't lose Yuito, especially if we ever plan on taking care of the Red Strings in the Kunad Gate. Hanabi, don't stop talking to him until we're ready. External stimulation will be able to delay memory loss to a certain extent. Uh, okay. Yuito! Hey, Yuito! Okay, the program's ready. This should work. Luca, I hope you're right. Already? Man, you're fast when you actually try. Wait, let me take a look at the program, too. Dr. Pope's memory should help. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay, I'd be honored to have my work checked by a great pioneer. This isn't enough. A memory is first formed when information is memorized, retained, and then recalled. Of course, how could I forget? I see, so that's how it works. Impressive, Dr. Pope. We don't know Yuito's brain framework. We need to choose the right memory region to input new information, or... Whoa. I gotta say, I didn't imagine this would actually come in handy. It's not exactly detailed, but here's a scan of Yuito's brain. What? Why do you have something like that? You guys were connected to that data terminal in Togetsu, right? They were secretly recording your information then. So that's what that terminal was intended to do. Don't worry. I realized what they were doing and deleted the data. I mean, I did keep a copy for myself. And again, you didn't tell us. Well, thank you. Now we'll be able to set the correct memory region. I used my clairvoyance to check. These designated coordinates match with the abnormal region. If that's what Sugumi saw, it must be right. Now we just have to run it. Stay still! Damn it! I'm no anesthesiologist, but it got the job done. This should make it easier. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Gemma, could you use your power to secure Yuito in place? I see. To connect the SAS cable. Will this do? Perfect. Okay, everyone. I'm connecting the SAS cable. I'll run the program when it's connected. You guys just start thinking about memories you have of Yuito. All right. Okay. Here goes nothing.
like the memories we sent Yuito are reacting to his vanishing memories. And that's what's subconsciously triggering his power? So what does that even mean? It means we most likely succeeded. <sighs> we did it. But, but he's not waking up. That's because Sheedin knocked him out. Go on and wake him up. Okay, I'm getting him up. What's wrong? Why aren't you waking up? Shiden, did you make a mistake? Impossible! I'm an expert on electricity, I wouldn't make a mistake! But... Yuito's body... It's getting colder by the second. Is he losing body heat? If it keeps up, he'll go into hypothermic shock. No... You're not dying today! Hanabi, wait! What are you doing? Are you increasing your own body temperature with your power? That's a lot of sweat. Stop! Forcing your temperature up like that, your body won't be able to withstand it. It's okay. I can handle it. Compared to the pain and suffering he's been through, this is nothing. Come on, Yuito. Please come back. <sighs> Yuito! Hey, Yuito! Welcome back. <clears throat> Kasane? And everyone. Why are you here? Are you okay? Do you have a headache or feel nauseous? I think I'm fine. What happened? Do you remember being attacked by my brother? Yeah. Then Arahabaki invaded my mind, and I was forced to use my power. What happened after that? So, I could have lost everything. Which means... The memories I have now are the connections you made for me. Thanks. Your head really doesn't hurt? Is there anything you can't remember? I have my memories, and my body feels fine. If you have your memories, does that mean you have old memories as well? Even memories from before meeting us? What? Yeah, I do. 
Although, it's kind of strange that I'd have old memories if they all had to come from you guys. So, does that mean we were able to restore the memories beyond our own? Or is it simply luck that they weren't erased? Wait. When we all connected through the SAS, it felt like there was a transmission from an external server. Were you storing your past memories on one? No. Why would I do that? What do you even mean? I see. Then what was that? I have a feeling it was something to do with Yuito's restored old memories. It doesn't make sense that he has all his old memories back if all we did was give him ours. There is a lot to think about, but I believe it's time we leave. It's dangerous to stay here. You're right. Can you move, Yuito? Yeah, I'm okay. Kasane, you're all coming too? Yes. We have no business with our Habaki. I'm glad you're okay. Now let's get out of here. A mandatory curfew is in effect. All citizens, please remain in your homes. Do not be deceived by unverified information. Unverified information, my ass! You can't trick us anymore! Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us! Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used our Habaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell Yuito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived, but rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe. And... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. We should all go back to my hideout to give Major General Fubuki some much-needed rest. Thanks for having us. Wow. So this is your guys' hideout. Is it the same type of unit we use? The make looks identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings, then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. <sighs> oh, you're going to bring that up. 
I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> You really are cool, Kasane. Cool? You were a bit standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this, but I can't help but admire you. I think I'm starting to understand you better. What a coincidence. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. I... Uh, I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. Hanabi, about before, I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa! Let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane, I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier, or as a person. You said it before, it's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh. Okay, I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. Hmm. I can't help myself from charging forward in battle. 
I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. Kagero, can we talk? Oh, sorry. Can it wait till later? I was about to go work out in the gym. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to turn down your invitation. I have to work hard every day to be this awesome, so I can't afford to skip. I didn't know he worked out. I suppose I could do with a little working out, too. What? Nobody's here. Does that mean he pretended to come here and then turned invisible? That's strange. Haruka, you have a second? I don't see Kagero. Do you know where he went? What? You can't see him? Did he? Do you have an idea where he is? Kagero behaves himself in front of girls, but when it's a group of guys, he gets really inappropriate. He was talking with my brother about some perverted situations involving his invisibility, and I was mortified. Something about being able to peep in the shower room while invisible. That's disgusting. Well, I don't think he was serious, and I doubt he'd do that in the hideout. I'll go check his GPS location. Huh? These coordinates are outside the hideout. He left the compound and is on the move. It looks like he's heading towards Mizuhagawa. Why is he going there? I don't know, maybe taking a walk? Hmm, I should go check it out. Okay, be careful. According to Haruka, Kagura should be around here. There he is. He doesn't look like anything's wrong. Maybe she was right and he's just taking a walk. Hey now, am I really that untrustworthy? I guess I am. You noticed I was here? I didn't follow you because I was suspicious. I was just a little worried. Either way, you're right not to trust me, considering everything I've done up till now. So why did you lie to come here? Oh, I was feeling a bit bored. Sometimes I just want to be alone for a little while. And this was just one of those times. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. At the very least, you're not like your usual self. Is something wrong? Hey, why do you go on living? Where did that come from? I don't understand the question. Your beloved sister Naomi died, right? I'm asking you how you can still go on living. What's your motivation? <sighs> it's already been 2,000 years. 2,000 years that I've lived in a world without my daughter. Can you imagine what that's even like? I'm just empty. I've lived this long to protect my daughter's existence. But once I do that, I don't have a reason to live. When I looked up at that moon, I'd feel hate, nostalgia, all sorts of things. But now, I feel nothing. It's like I'm already half dead. I guess that's what it means to lose the people we love. Is it different for you? I'm not empty. I'm only alive now because my sister protected me. That's why I can't let my life go to waste. I have to live on. For her. Because I lost my sister, I have to live to make sure that tragedy never happens again. Young people can be so positive. You're an old man who's lived for 2,000 years. If you've got time to feel sorry for yourself, why don't you do something meaningful? If you feel like your life is empty, then use the time you have to think about how to fill it. Don't call me an old man. Kids these days are so harsh. Did you really need to say all that? <sighs> this is all just a joke to you. Don't put it like that. This is my style. Fill the emptiness, you know? You know, getting left behind by time really sucks. It's a lot harder than you can imagine. I came all the way out here because I didn't want you to see me down like this. I'm so lame. Yes. Very lame. 
Your daughter would think so too. Now that's really depressing. Fine. It's time to bust out the super cool Kagero to win back you and my daughter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on people. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look desperate enough to spy on people? It's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh, thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool-headed. Hey, you free now? Yes, what is it? There's something I want to ask you. Come with me. Why did you bring me all the way here? Because nobody will overhear us. Look at this. That's the analysis from a recent fight. Don't worry about the details. I want you to look at the other kill rate. Your numbers have been improving lately. You must be seeing results from your training. Yeah, but you're doing even better than me. Not by much. It's all within the margin of error. Listen, that small difference you're talking about is something I've never been able to make up for. It doesn't make sense to me that no matter how hard I study and work, I still can't beat you. It's time I swallow my pride and ask you, what kind of secret training are you doing? Secret training? I'm not doing anything like that. No, there has to be some sort of secret strategy you're using. I told you I'm not doing anything like that. If you watch me, you can see that I'm not doing anything special. Are you saying that this is just a difference in our natural abilities? How? If that's true, then it doesn't matter what I do. I'll never be able to catch up to you. I don't really understand. Is there a reason you need to catch up to me? I should just be some baggage the rest of my life? I don't think so. I hate to admit it, but everyone in this platoon are top talents, even Kagero. I'm the only one that's different. I'm nothing compared to the rest of you. I have to work myself to the bone if I'm even gonna keep up. And it's paying off. I don't see you as baggage. Even after looking at the data? No matter how hard I train, this is the reality. If this is my limit, then I can't stay in this platoon! Shiden, what should I do once I catch up to him? I don't know how to tell him how I feel. Kasane? Shiden just rushed out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like I've upset him again. You don't need to apologize. I know you must have tried communicating with him. You two have such different upbringings and perspectives. You have to assume you'll have disagreements. That means he'll never understand where I'm coming from. Right. What do you want him to do? What do you mean? I want him to continue fighting with us as a team. Have you ever tried telling him? Why don't you catch up to him and say just that? I have a feeling he might get angry again, but I haven't thought of a better way to reach out to him. Okay, I'll go after him. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Shiden is heading towards Seiran. Haruka, how do you know his location? I'm the team's operator. He just rushed out of the hideout, so I figured you two got into another fight. Good call. That's exactly what happened. Thank you for telling me. Good luck. I hope it goes well. There you are. Kasane? Why did you come after me? Get lost! Where are you going? <sighs> I understand that you're troubled. I can see how discouraging it is to work hard and not see results. But running away just because you couldn't become stronger than someone? That's not the kind of person you are. You just overestimated me. This is what I'm really like. I'm not even that good. But my pride makes me constantly worry about everyone around me. I put on a facade because I'm scared I'm inferior to everyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you so obsessed with being better than everyone? 
How useful an individual is depends on circumstances. Have you ever been unable to control your own abilities? You mean my power? Yeah. When I was young, I caused an accident because of it. Nobody got hurt, but I was just lucky. The next time it happens, someone might get hurt. Worst case scenario, people might even die. I put on these insulation gloves and trained hard to control my power. But I can't get rid of that nagging feeling. Even back when I was still a kid, I've never been able to overcome my own weakness. So you feel inadequate? <sighs> I've never found you lacking. Our platoon needs your composure, analytic skills, and judgment. Please, come back to us. I want to keep fighting alongside you. I... An other warning. Kasane, Shiden. Others have been confirmed inside Seiron City. Others? There was no forecast. Sometimes the forecasts are wrong. Look, there are still citizens inside who weren't able to evacuate in time. Let's go. We have to save them. Yeah. Haruka, send us the other's location. That's right near my home. What? You didn't know either, Haruka? Is there a suppression force heading there now? There's a patrol in the area. They should prioritize evacuating the nearby civilians. My family should have already evacuated by now. We should head to where they appeared. You must be worried about your family. I don't need your concern. A member of the OSF should prioritize saving the citizens over their own family. You can drop the act. If you lose them without doing anything, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Okay, I'll go. Yes, let's hurry. Wait, you're coming with me? Obviously. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. Hey, why are you taking the lead? I'll support you from here. You two be careful. What's going on? How are there still this many others? The reports were wrong. There aren't even suppression forces. Let's go help. Wait, will we be able to hold back that many others? Shouldn't we wait for reinforcements? If we don't act now, they'll start attacking people. We have to slow them down here. Against this many? That's suicide! Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. Damn it. I know that. Captain Seto would say the same thing. There's no guarantee the civilians will be able to get away before the reinforcements arrive. My parents might... So we're the only ones who can stop them here. Captain Seto, give me strength. Let's go. You better pull your own weight. Right back at you. Let's do this. That's all of them. Are you alright? Of course I'm alright. Who do you think I am? I was careful not to let any of them get away. I'm pretty sure we managed to stop them all here. Haruka, this is Shiden. We exterminated the others that appeared at our current location. Are there any more sightings? I was just about to contact you. We've confirmed that all others in Seiron have been exterminated. You two really pulled off quite the feat. Good job. There's a rescue team headed your way. All the civilians have been accounted for at the evacuation site. Zero casualties. That's good news, Shiden. Thank goodness. Why don't you go see your family? No. I just needed to know they're okay. Then let's head back to the hideout. Sorry. You did well out there and made some good calls. You really pulled your weight. Enough with the flattery. I was too busy fighting to think about anything else. That just shows how much you were able to focus. Neither of us had the time to think about anything. I guess so. But this wasn't an official deployment. There won't be any data to evaluate. Does that upset you? No. I feel accomplished. I don't even regret putting on Captain Seto's mask. If that's how you feel, then that's worth more than any analysis data. You're right. 
This is the first time I've ever felt that there's more to an encounter than stats. I think I'll stay on the team for a little while longer. You can stay as long as you want. <laughs> it's only as long as I feel I have something to gain. This platoon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thanks. I'm not saying you're suited to be a leader or anything. As much as I hate to admit it, there's no one else that could do it. You're babbling so much I can't follow. What's your point? I... I mean... You're doing a good job. For now, at least. Kasane, you're kind of like a lone wolf. You mean that I'm isolated? No, not like that. Sorry, maybe that was a bad choice of words. I meant that you can take care of yourself. I really think that's amazing. Oh, Kasane, perfect. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh, actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone, but the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I suppose I should humor him a bit. All right, I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point, I'll give him that. It's true that I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh, right, I haven't told you yet. It's about Nagi. He's dead. What? Nagi? You mean that Nagi? What happened? He was subjected to the government's personality rehabilitation. And, well, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. I thought there was something I could do for him, a way to bring him back. But I was too late. I couldn't save him. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been. For you and Nagi. He... He was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got roped into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with you, I'd imagine Nagi would still find himself involved if he joined the OSF. But if he hadn't become friends with me, then the chance of this happening would have been much lower. It's my fault he lost his life. Nagi was his own person. He made his own choices in life. He wasn't an extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt, 
but I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship with you denied. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. I have a long way to go. It's painfully obvious when I fight alongside you. I don't think we're that different. That actually might be true, but there's a whole lot I need to learn. You helped me see some parts of myself I couldn't see on my own. In any case, you really motivate me to get better. How are you doing, Kasane? What do you mean? Could you be more specific? Like physically? No, never mind. It's not a big deal. I think I understand. Do you remember the other day when I asked you how you were doing? Yes. What was that about? I'm sorry for the strange question. I just didn't know what to say to a young person. I only wanted to know how you were doing. If everything's okay, then that's good. Oh, Kasane? What are you so startled about? Nothing. I didn't think I would be able to talk to you. I'm sorry for being startled, but I was just so happy to be noticed. You're really strong, Kasane. I think you're pretty strong, too. I don't mean in battle. I mean mentally. Nothing ever gets to you. I always get overwhelmed by everything outside of battle. That's why I want to learn from you. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. 
Kabuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiran to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone? There's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagero, right? We should listen. No. Kagero killed Yuito's dad? I don't want to believe it. There is much I want to say, but perhaps we should follow him. I worry about leaving them alone. That's why I told all of you. We should go to Kikuchiba too. You're an intriguing person, Kasane. I apologize if that sounds strange. I meant it as praise. It didn't bother me. I'm glad. That practicality may be your greatest merit. Yuito! Kagero! Did we interrupt you? Kagero, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. 
It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just going to leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the Moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the Moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The Extinction Belt. I think it's safe to say that the Moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The Moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the Moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the Moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. 
Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? The shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake-type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. Uh, hey! Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden, but there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. <sighs> it's tough to keep this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, just like we thought. Alright. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come. The Togetsu design children. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it. Here we go.
This is the entrance to Babe. Good, it worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No, I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh. Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn, Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take them out. I sense no others around us. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the Babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean, toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo? Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. What is this place? Another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit-chat. We need to keep moving. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. That voice. Please, Please listen, listen to me. <gasps> Mother? Huh? What? Huh? That's... your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasane, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model, and she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed Mother. That's what I remember, anyway. So, Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu, and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her, once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunan Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron, all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yuito, I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? Connect your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes! Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of me. What did you say? Oh. Are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain! 
All of it was to save the world. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of Mother. You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. I will stop Babe! What? Everyone run! The floor is collapsing! I'm glad everyone's alright. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again? This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <gasps> Another is coming. It's big! fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. It feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. You shut down Babe! Fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunad Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, but I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunad Gate. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. The research of Red String spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the Red Strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of Red Strings. 
She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. Directly? You can't be serious. By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. The Kunat Gate, has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear. But I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito. If you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. Kasane, 
We'll be waiting for you. This is the same as before. What is this place? The place where Mother has... do this. I just have to imagine it in my mind. The old OSF hospital, 11 years ago. Where am I? This is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. I should start looking for Mother. You're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Uh. Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. All right. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. Okay, then we need to get Yuito.
Oh, Yuito, wait! Another warning. It's starting. I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. Others could show up at any time. I have to find Yuito fast. Where are you, Yuito? Yuito! in time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. Oh. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah. Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you alright? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. I put the cuff on Yuito. Thank you. People can see us here. Come this way. All right, then. Yes, let's go. This'll work. I need to think of Yuito and return to my time. Take me to your time. <sighs> it's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. 
I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals, or so they say. So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. Kasane, are you free to talk? Yes. What do you want to talk about today? Oh, not here. The kitchen is empty right now, so let's go there. Huh? All right, let's go. So, what's this about? It might be a touchy subject for you, since you are one of the design children made in Togetsu. Yes, what of it? How do you feel about your existence being the result of an experiment? How do I feel? I'm not sure how to answer that. Do you feel bad or conflicted about being an artificial existence? Well, it's something I learned just recently, so it honestly doesn't feel very real yet. Finding out my entire past was a lie definitely filled me with shock and anger. But it's not like my birth affects who I am now, so it hasn't been an issue. <laughs> You're steadfast. And that's precisely why I wanted to talk to you. What are you talking about? I... You don't have to force it. I can go to another room and wait for you to come. Wait! I'm a dud. Uh. I was born without powers, but they ran experiments on me when I was a child, which led to my gaining them. So while my situation is a little different from yours, I'm also an artificial psionic. It's something I've been struggling with for a while now. My power was given to me. It's not my own. Maybe it'll disappear one day, and I'll be nothing. The other day. That's why you asked what I'd do if I couldn't use my powers. Yes. I wanted to know how you felt since you were also created by an experiment. How do you think one can overcome their fear of possibly losing their powers one day? You're asking me because you want my frank opinion. Yes, that's right. Then I'll be honest with you. I don't understand why you're so worried. Is that because you're not a dud? No, I don't mean it like that. It's because I consider powers to be just one tool out of many. Just... one of many? If you can't use one, then just use another. There are other ways to fight besides powers. Even if I didn't have them, I'm sure I'd find another way to try to protect Naomi. Whether you have powers or not, your feelings won't change. What's important is not how you do it, but what you do. 
What you do? I see. <laughs> I should apologize. What are you talking about? I kept telling you before how similar you were to my brother, but I was wrong. My brother will greedily try to obtain powers to fulfill his own agenda, by force at times. You could say he is almost possessed by the powers. However, you don't care that much about them. If they're not available, you're flexible enough to choose a different method. I don't really understand, but you're basically saying you don't think Karin and I are similar anymore. Yes, because you're not. I was conflicted at first, but I'm glad I told you. It seems I was being a little too closed-minded. That might be similar to my brother. You've helped me feel a little better. Thank you. Don't mention it. Thank you for trusting me with your secret. You can talk to me anytime if you're ever struggling with something. Like your muscles. I don't think I'd ever be worried about my muscles, but I'll keep that in mind. Kasane, how long do you train each day? I think I train as much as necessary. Hmm, as far as I can see, you seem to have muscle. I'd like it if you allowed me to create a training program for you sometime. He and I share the same mother. I wonder how he feels about that. Yuito, are you free right now? Yeah, what's up? It's just... well, I thought we could talk about our mother. I'm sure we both have some things we want to say. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that too, actually. Oh, why don't we head down to Mizuhagawa? Why there? I just thought a little picnic might help change the mood. I can make some food for us. What do you think? A picnic in the middle of others? Well, I guess it'll warm us up for battle. Yeah, it'll be field training. Let's head out in about an hour. All right. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. This is pretty elaborate. He might even be better at this than Naomi. No, that's too much of a compliment. I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That laugh. Is he trying to make me feel better? If he is, then maybe I was too hard on him. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. 
neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. Isn't that right, Naomi? I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. This is starting to get a little awkward. Is it because he called me his big sister? Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay, let's go then. Hey, Kasane. Got a minute? Yes. What do you need? It can wait if you're busy, but I was hoping you'd run some military exercises with me. We can go now. Let's head to the training facility. Damn it! I thought I could win this time. I can't believe you turned the tables on me at the last second. I may have managed to push through at the end, but it was really close. Thanks. That made for a good training session. I noticed you move differently now. It's like you don't hesitate anymore. Don't analyze me. You shouldn't get carried away just because you beat me. It was a compliment. I know, but I guess it's fine. I'll learn from this experience and win next time. Just you wait. I appreciate your passion, but remember not to push yourself too hard. You'll make your family worry. I don't even have to be pushing myself for them to worry. They never listen to anything I say. You have good parents. You would better be replying to all of their messages. I am, but they still won't stop bugging me. I decided I'm gonna drop by and see them once in a while. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. They're constantly asking when I'll be coming over next. I mean, don't they get how busy I am? You always talk about them like that, but I know they're important to you. You just can't admit it. That's normal. You're just too blunt. Although that could be why you're so strong. You fight for what's important to you without being bothered by what anyone else thinks. That's a strength that can't be measured and utterly incomprehensible to me. But I did learn something while watching you. What would that be? Real strength isn't something you compare against other people. Everyone, including me, has their own unique strengths. Anyway, don't get cocky just because you're a little talented. I'm eventually going to surpass you and run the OSF one day. And here I thought you'd actually grown as a person. You haven't changed much at all. What? Although, it would be off-putting if you suddenly changed overnight. So I guess this is better. Nothing but insults, as usual. Are you really trying to become friends with me? About that. 
I know what Kyoka said, but I don't think we need to force a friendship between us. What? We may have different ways of thinking, but we can trust each other on the battlefield. Don't you think that's good enough? Uh, we're fighting in the same platoon. I suppose I can at least be cooperative. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. Oh, Kasane! Perfect timing! There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate! What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka! Who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet, but as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. Ugh. We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. Kasane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizuhagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? 
Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry. And thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here... has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. You move so efficiently in battle. That's really impressive, considering how little combat experience you have. Although, while it's great that you don't hesitate, just don't be too reckless. Sometimes you need to pause and think. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to lecture you. Maybe this is because of my age. Oh, Kasane! Do you have a minute? Will you come to a cafe in Suo with me? Sure. Is everything okay? Uh... There's something I want to talk to you about. Has she made a decision about Yuito? Alright, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point as always. Okay then, I wanted to talk to you about the OSF. The OSF? Not Yuito? Hey, it's not like I think about him all day. I mean, maybe I did up until recently, but there's no talking about Yuito today. I want to be more independent and not rely on him so much. I see. So what about the OSF? We've seen the OSF's dark side through the battles we've been in. We know that they're not an ally of justice. We found out that it's an organization that runs cruel experiments that cost a lot of people their lives. True. 
Now I'm struggling with the decision of whether or not to stay in the OSF. I know that I have to be the one to make the final choice, but I just wanted to ask your opinion. If you're questioning your current situation, you either have to leave or change. Right. So it comes down to those two options. I guess I don't really want to leave. I have friends and other people who are very important to me in the OSF. And I don't want to run away. I feel like I need to face the OSF head-on precisely because we know there's something wrong. Then that leaves you with only one answer. You're right. I probably already knew it, but was too afraid to say it out loud. I want to change the OSF because it's filled with the people I love. I don't want to give up on it. An OSF that doesn't sacrifice lives, but saves them. Yeah, that's going to be my goal. That's a good goal. Straightforward, just like you. <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but it's the least I can do if I want to be on the level of you and Yuito. You can do it. I told you before that you have the power to break through the front line. Even outside of battle, you can break through barriers as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a compliment, but thank you. I'll do my best. Hey, Kasane, I'm glad we became friends. Is something wrong? I was so preoccupied with Yuito before, but talking to you made me realize I had to change. I think you've helped me broaden my perspective as well. I think about things I never would have before. It might just be my imagination, but are you planning to leave the OSF? What makes you think that? Well, you didn't seem to hesitate when you suggested my leaving the OSF. So I thought maybe... I haven't made any decisions yet, but you're right. I am considering that as a possibility. Oh. It'd be sad to say goodbye, but I'll always support you, no matter what path you may decide for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, I'd like to see you confess your feelings to Yuito before I leave. What? I told you! No talking about Yuito! Did you say that? Honestly. Anyway, I'm not ready yet. I think I'll be able to take the first step soon, so wish me luck. I hope your wishes come true, and not just romantically. I'll pray for you too. Let's both do our best. What does this handshake mean? I'm not sure, but it just felt right. Maybe it's a sign of our friendship. Even if we're apart, we'll still always be friends. Okay. Friends it is. Well, are you ready to go? <laughs> we still have so much to do. Yes, let's get going. Kasane, have you mellowed lately? Like how you talk? Have I? I'm not particularly aware of it. Really? I just had the feeling that you're somewhat easier to talk to. Maybe I'm the one who's changed. It could be that I understand what you're feeling more since I know you better. That makes me happy. Arshi, do you have a second? It's about this program. After the update... She seems unusually focused. Is she making a new program? Whoa, Kasane! This is a video game. You're playing instead of doing work? I could say you caught me, but this is what I always do. It's kind of pointless yelling at me over things like this anymore. Why do you want to skip out on work so much? It's not that simple. This is a defensive measure to ensure I don't waste my precious stamina and mental energy on pointless work. Defensive measure? That's basically... Arashi, got a minute? Did you come to scold me about my work ethic, too? Now's not the time for jokes. Major General Fabuki might be in trouble. What happened? I haven't been able to reach him for the past few hours. His geolocation isn't available either. 
The OSF hasn't been able to help. We're working in the dark. It's probably best we go look for him then. No, we don't need to do that. How come? Because he's going to wander back like nothing happened. Going to look for him is just a waste of time. Saving your only brother is a waste of your time? I'm saying my time shouldn't be used on a pointless effort. Fine. Let me try putting it another way. Which do you think is better? Wasting a moment of your time on pointless work? Or losing him and regretting it for the rest of your life? Lose him? Right. You... <sighs> I see. You may have a point. Haruka, send me Fubuki's last known location. Okay, hold on. There, I sent it. It was a while ago, so we should expand the search. Arashi? Did she just leave? Can you track her location with GPS? I'm doing it, but I'm getting her geolocation data coming from everywhere. I can't get a lock on her current location. It must be her hypervelocity. We should wait and see where she ends up before we go after her. Arashi stopped. She's... It's Arashi. Rebel is blocking my path. I'll need your power to move this. I'll send you the coordinates. <sighs> I'm heading out to the coordinates. Looks like it's around the abandoned subway. I've almost reached the coordinates. Copy that. I'm getting reports about a gust of wind blowing through the city. What? Yes, it's not causing any damage, but apparently it's unsettling. I just thought you should know. That gust. I don't think it'll be coming back. I'm betting it was Arashi. She was probably running all over the place looking for traces of Major General Fubuki. Despite what she was saying, she must be really worried. If I can just find an opening... Arashi! Kasane, what took you so long? I came here as soon as I could. I'll save my questions for later. First, we have to do something about this. Yeah. Okay, now we can keep going. Is Major General Fubuki up ahead? Probably. It looks like there was a big fight here. The damage seems recent. They just won't let up. What gives? They're not going to stop me. More rubble. Leave it to me. Fubuki! Arashi? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What happened? I was investigating the area when the extinction belt suddenly descended and jammed my transmissions. Then the others suddenly appeared and destroyed the path, trapping me here. I knew I didn't need to come all this way, honestly. No, you still saved me. Thank you, Kasane. I'm sorry to have bothered you, sis. Yeah, no kidding. Now I'm exhausted. Sorry. I guess this makes it the second time you saved me. Did something similar to this happen in the past? Yes, back when I was a kid, and scouted by the OSF. Arashi threw a big tantrum using her power, and told them they couldn't take me with them. What? But it's obligatory. It's no use trying to change their mind. So why? The OSF and death go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to accept the irrational. I might be able to handle that, but I knew full well that someone earnest like him wasn't equipped to deal with it. And those who aren't equipped to deal with it have a high chance of dying needlessly. So I thought I'd save everyone the trouble and stop him from being enlisted in the first place. <sighs> Although in the end, I wasn't able to change anything. Just a child's tantrum. That was the biggest waste of my entire life. 
My brother ended up enlisting in the OSF and somehow even managed to climb up to regiment commander. On the other hand, I got injured, got the top brass on my back, making me run PR. Just the worst. Injured? So you got hurt? Yeah, I did something really stupid. I used my hypervelocity and tore my limbs off when I hit a wall. What? Don't worry, they fixed them right up so there's barely even a scar. But like you said, my pointless action didn't yield me anything. Just like today. <sighs> Neither of them are pointless to me. Kabuki? You risked your life to protect me. You used your tiny body to shield me. Ever since I saw that, I wanted to become someone who could risk their life for another. And while you were healing, I found out how fun letters could be. Letters? What letters? Did you forget? You wrote me letters as part of your physical therapy treatments for your hands. That's why I started writing letters too. It's like a hobby of mine now. Really? It helps me relax. There's something else it helps me with too. It helps me remember the time you defended me. It really cheers me up. So it wasn't pointless. Huh. So about today, do you really think it was pointless? Yeah, I do. I see. I really hate wasted effort, but that doesn't mean it's all bad. It's fine doing something like this once in a while. It's a little embarrassing how it goes against everything I believe in, though. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Let's go, Mother. Is something the matter? I'm just happy you turned into such a fine young lady. It's not my place to say that, though. I'm sorry I left you behind and ran away. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. They were trying to kill you, and I don't remember much about being in Togetsu anyway. And after I came to Suo, I had my big sister. Then I have to say thank you to your sister. I'm sure she'll be happy. You still call me mother, even after everything. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? 
Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunat Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunat Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunat Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunat Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunat Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunat Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunat Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020 when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt, Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the Red Strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the Red Strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. I got the hang of using the red strings now. And Yuito's here this time. I have to do this right. Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. 
your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. This future should now no longer exist. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you could travel to the past and change history? You mean, after we remove the Kunat Gate? Yeah. The ability to travel through time freely. That's the true power of the Red Strings. Right. If I could go back and save my sister, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought of it. I wanted to save Naomi. I just kept thinking there must be a way over and over again. Every now and then I'm reminded that I won't see her again, and it rattles me. Sure. If I could change history so Naomi wouldn't turn into another, if that was something I could actually do... <sighs> I don't think I'd do it. Why? Because if you change the past, no one knows how it will affect everything after that. If we were in a different platoon, if we weren't scouted, if I was never adopted, is changing the past until I get the results I want really saving Naomi? And not just Naomi. It's not right to go back and change the lives of everyone in the world just for my own selfish desires. Yeah, I guess it's not right to mess with everyone else just to fulfill your wants. It's painful, and there's a lot of suffering we have to bear. But it's a burden we must carry. Sorry, it was weird of me to bring up. That being said, I am glad I asked, because I was thinking the same thing. I'm relieved you agree. Oh. But this mindset is thanks to you. I've learned so much. The same goes for me. I think my old self would have come to a different conclusion. I mean, I don't think you would have even talked to me for this long, back when you first joined. You know, that's not... <sighs> okay, perhaps you're right about that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we travel to... No. Now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. 
Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's Crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. What? How? Former Major General Karin! So they're going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. Okay, that should... Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it! I'm blacking... Yuito! Kasane! <sighs> Mom? Mother... Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate... Why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> huh? Leave the rest to me. What? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <laughs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Tokatsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. <laughs> no, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! <laughs> Yuito! Kasane! Live on! Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for! So today is the day. I may give you my brain. But you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane.
The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain. Following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. Apparently, the in I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. Wakana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement. That uneasy feeling we got when we unraveled the entanglement 11 years ago was because Mom's entanglement still remained. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... <sighs> He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine! So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. The mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? 
You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No, we might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did, but we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeragi Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi Tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The Chief! Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. All right, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi Tomb. So think about the amount of water you would need for your flowers, and make sure you... Are you listening to me, Kagura? Yep. You know very well that I'd never miss a word my beloved Sugumi says. Okay, but I'm going to be mad if you don't put this all to use. <laughs> I know, I know. Leave it to your guy, Kagero. You talk a lot with Sugumi. You aren't going to ask her out on a date. Oh, are you jealous? <laughs> it seems like I'm back in the game after 2,000 years. I'm starting to understand. Do you see Sugumi and me as replacements for your daughter? Oh, I know. Want to help me with an errand? Don't change the subject. A good woman doesn't point that out. I want to go clean up an old hideout I used to use. An old hideout? Yeah, it's a place I used to lay low back when I was doing my spy work. There should still be a lot of inside information and classified data on Togetsu, so I thought I might as well grab it all. Hmm. That might actually be of use to the government when handling them in the future. It's not for the government. I just wanted to do my part when it comes to them. Okay, I'll help. Where is it? Kikuchiba. Let's get going. Hey, about our last conversation... What? We were in Mizuagawa. You were telling me to do something meaningful? Well, I've been thinking about it ever since then, but nothing really comes to mind. Once we stopped Togetsu's plan, 
I felt like I fulfilled my role. I was thinking, it might be time for a ghost from the past like me to move on. Listen, that was the old you who fulfilled his role. We still need Kagero in the here and now. I don't know if you've realized, but Kagero doesn't even exist. What do you mean? On the moon and in Togetsu, I was called Shin Daniel. Kagero Dawn is just a pseudonym. That name is a shimmer that doesn't exist. Maybe that's true for you, but for us, it's different. Whatever your real name might be, the Kagero Dawn we've known in the OSF isn't a ghost. And when you were talking fondly with Tsugumi, you didn't look like a ghost then. Hmm. What Tsugumi and the rest of us need is you. We don't need some stranger from the past. How is it that you've become this wise at your young age? I'm seriously impressed with you. Yeah, if people need Kagero Dawn, then maybe I don't have to feel so empty after all. Perhaps it's time I put my past self to rest and started focusing on the present. I guess I'll need to clean up my old haunts first. We're almost to the hideout. Let's go. We finally made it. I know it's shabby, but make yourself comfortable. Actually, something seems off. It's pretty messy. Do you think someone broke in? Seems like it. Wait here. Let me take a look around. Dang. All the data's either been taken or destroyed. Most likely Togetsu. They probably felt the need to clean things up when they realized I turned on them. I figured they would. Why come all the way out here if you predicted this would happen? Hmm. Well, I wanted to confirm my suspicions and also grab some of my personal belongings. <sighs> Sukumi. Did you find something? Is that a picture? It looks ripped. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's an old photo. Is it of your family? If we find the other pieces, we might be able to restore it. No, it's okay. It's not like this is the only photo I have. But it's important to you. What's important are the memories. Don't you remember what you said to me? It's because of the important things we've lost that we have to live on. And I think now is the time I need to get my act together and keep moving forward. If I keep dragging this on the way I've been doing until now, then I'm sure I'll start upsetting everyone. Okay, if you're fine with that. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Talking with you helped me realize a lot of things. You said you were going to move forward. What are you planning on doing? First, I'll settle things with my past. As someone who's worked with Togetsu, I have a responsibility to deal with Babe and Karin. I have to see the things we started to the very end. Then I'll finally be able to put my past to bed. And when that's done? After that? Well, I'll think about a new life. How I'll live, what I can do. I think that sounds good. At least you don't sound as lame as you did before. Well, well. It seems like you've come to appreciate my newfound sense of maturity. If you'd like to go out on a date... It might be a while before you find this new life of yours. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? These dates are your way of connecting with your daughter. To be the father you never could be. Well, gosh, I keep telling you that you shouldn't be saying these things out loud. I guess I preferred it more when I was just the creepy old guy asking a young girl out on a date. That work? Okay, so... Daddy Kagero? Let's drop the daddy bit. I don't think my fragile heart can take it. Looks like he's back to being his old self. That might be for the best. You're lazy as always. You never change. Thank you for the compliment. And you're as stuffy and by the book as ever. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you very much. 
So how have things been with Major General Fubuki lately? Good? Why are you bringing him up? You rescued him when he was missing. You used your power at full speed to go look for him, remember? Oh, right. A lot's happened since then, and I can't be bothered remembering such trivial matters. If you must know, I think he's still alive. That's good. Just like always, she'll never change, will she? How's Arashi doing, Kasane? Does she seem strange to you? No. Did something happen? I suddenly got a message from her saying, good morning. This has never happened before. I thought it could be code for something, so I wondered if there was a problem. No, there haven't been any problems. She's just lazing around on the sofa like her usual self. Skipping out on work again. Okay, that's a relief. Sorry, just let me know if anything happens. He's such a worrywart, but I guess I can check for him. Arashi, you got a second? I was thinking about grabbing something to eat in town. In town? Ugh. I guess it's not so bad going outside once in a while. So, where are we going? You are acting strange. Fubuki said what? How rude! You should be mad at him for making you spy on me. That's a little much. If you have a problem with him, you should message him again. What changed? I mean, you messaged your brother and even accepted an invitation to eat out. I told you that I hate waste, but it's not necessarily bad. I thought I could fine-tune my lifestyle a little. Consider it a personal upgrade. Your hair clip, Naomi's cooking, and his letters. I used to just write them off as a waste, but I started thinking that there could be some things that weren't so bad. Arashi 1.0 had a lot of flaws. Arashi 2.0 has been operating for a long time, but I see some areas that can be improved. In other words, Arashi 2.1 is currently in open beta. That's a weird analogy. Well, Arashi 2.1 doesn't seem so bad. I'd give it a playtest. Thank you for the feedback. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we finished eating and I'm feeling plenty energetic. I'm off to sleep then. The fact that you didn't say you were going to work means that the update is pretty minor. If you change too much, you're bound to create errors. You have to stick to small changes. Is that letter... I knew it. I thought she threw it out. It's her first sentimental item. Arashi 2.1 is proving to be quite the major upgrade. Kasane, I want to discuss the matter I mentioned before. Are you free right now? Yes, I'm free. Why don't we go to a cafe in Suo? A cafe? Okay. So, what did you want to talk about? It's hard for me to bring up. I have an extremely embarrassing favor to ask. Okay, I understand this is uncomfortable for you. We can talk about it some other time if you'd like. No. I'll find the courage. I want to change. I've thought for a while how I want to be friends with everyone, so I need to get better at talking. I was hoping you would let me practice my conversation skills with you. Practice conversation? I can't imagine I'd be the best person for that. I want it to be you. You're easy to talk to. Well, if I'm the one you want, then I've got no problem with that. Oh, good. What do you want to talk about, though? Anything specific? What? Um, I'll pick a topic. So, um, how have you been lately? Lately? I haven't really had any issues. I see. It's good, not having any issues. Yes. Well, do you have a favorite food? Or maybe food you hate? Not really. I see. You're not picky. That's good. Uh-huh. Uh, um... Then... Oh! What 
do you think about the latest trends in fashion? Not sure. Fashion's never been my thing. I see. Mine either. Mm. Um, what else? What can we talk about? I have to keep the conversation going. Sugumi, calm down and take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm no good at this. It's just a thought, but it might be better to talk like you normally do. What? But... There's no need to force a topic. And you'll have an easier time talking about your own interests, like plants. Yes, but that won't be much practice. I need to be able to talk about more things, or else nobody will have fun talking with me. I have to talk about things everyone else will enjoy if I want to be friendly. Does that everyone include me? What? Why? Because I've enjoyed all our conversations. Really? Really. I don't know about everyone else, but I want to hear more about what you have to say. But... I always thought you were just politely humoring me when I talked. I feel bad because I'm such a slow talker, and I'm always being such a bother. I'm not an especially patient person. If I thought you were a bother, I'd just pick up and leave. You know a lot of things that I and many people don't. And you're always so considerate to those around you, putting them before yourself. Your kindness in some way reminds me of Naomi. Whether you believe it or not, I like the time we spend together. Sunny. Tsugumi? Are you okay? Your face is flushed. I'm fine. It's just that I never thought you'd say something like that about me. I thought I had to change. That I needed to be different because I'm no good like this. But if there are people like you who think I'm fun the way I am... I might not be as bad as I thought. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Kagero, Yuito, and everyone else at the hideout probably feel the same way. We like you the way you are. You think so? I certainly hope that's the case. Well, I'll go on ahead. I'll see you back at the hideout. Um, I'm really glad I met you. So, would you mind if I asked you one more favor? That depends on what it is. Go ahead. Could I be your friend? If you're not opposed to the idea. That's fine. I'm not opposed at all. But what does being a friend mean? What do I need to do? What? I'm not really sure now that you've asked. Like, talk together. Have tea together. Talk about our troubles. Haven't we been doing all of that already? Right. Doesn't that mean we've been friends for a while now? Yes, I guess it does. So I suppose we continue doing what we've been doing? Okay, call me anytime. <laughs> oh, uh, Kasane. I'm sorry for being startled again. It's fine. What are you doing? The flowers bloomed, and I was looking at them. Oh, do you want to see too? You can see my flowers anytime. They like when people look at them, and so do I. Kasane! The Togetsu agents contacted me. I was instructed to go to these coordinates located on Hiano Mountain. I plan to lure them out and gather intel. Will you come with me? Yes, of course. But there will be two of us, so wouldn't it be easier to just round them up and capture them? It depends on what they do. First, let's go where they asked me to and wait for them to show themselves. Okay, let's head to Hiano Mountain. That seems to be the last of them. No, not yet. I know you're there. Come out. <clears throat> I wouldn't have called out if we weren't ready for you. Now, 
It's time to talk. It looks like you're the only one here. <sighs> Her face is identical to yours. I suspected it. You're also one of the design children. Just so you know, restoring Babe's data is impossible, even with Dr. Pope's knowledge of neuroscience. I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> Impudent fool. What do you mean? Feign confidence is not advised in this situation. We do not need the knowledge or the technology. We need your brain. The only brain that holds Dr. Pope's memories. You were going to use my brain to build a new Babe. Huh? Babe prepared contingency plans for all scenarios. The current situation is just one of those. If the mainframe goes down, we use a spare. Togetsu merely needs to carry out the plan faithfully. I feel sorry for you. There isn't anyone to give you orders anymore. Yet you still obey. You have nowhere else to go. You don't know any other way to live. You can only carry out your orders. <laughs> you should be feeling sorry for yourself. What did you say? As long as I am serving a higher purpose, I can live happily, without worry or hesitation. What about you? You lost your purpose and your value, doomed to live a scared and anxious life. <sighs> you were listening in on us? I do not have to. I know how you feel. You are the same as I am, a worthless being. Only Togetsu can give us value. No, I... Watch out! What? <sighs> Don't compare yourself to Kyoka. You're nothing more than a mere puppet. And yes, I do my fair share of worrying, but that's a far better way to live. It's better than being used all my life like you. Life is worth more when you make your own decisions. Kasane... It does not matter what you say. Your true nature does not change. You should be well aware of this. Yes, I know. I'm sure I'll be living scared the rest of my life. But that's fine. Kasane helped me realize that this fear is proof that I freed myself from my puppet strings. I control myself now. Whether I have Dr. Pope's memories or not, I'm still me. The moment I freely chose my own future, I became the individual Kyoka. <sighs> I handed her over to the proper authorities in Suo. We should let the government take care of the Togetsu remnants. Now, that's that. How are you feeling? I'm still uneasy. But it's not bad now that I know it's a part of me. Do you remember that fortune teller? I remember waiting in the long line. I think the reason why fortune reading is so popular is because everyone is afraid of the future. You think so? Yes. Everyone takes each step forward carrying that worry with them. I'd love to have my future read. Let's make sure we actually go next time. In other words, we have to wait in that long line again. <sighs> I'm glad she feels better. Until now, I was your instructor and your commander. But now you're the one leading me. It makes me emotional. I wonder if I'll have to watch you leave the nest someday. I think you're getting ahead of yourself. I still count on you. Kasane, there's a workout I want to try. Would you mind helping me? Sure. What do I need to do? I'm going to do some bench presses, and I need more than the equipment weights. So I want you to use your psychokinesis to push the barbell down. Isn't that dangerous? It seems to me that the weights you have now are enough of a workout. No, I want a bigger challenge. Please. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not lifting the barbell up at all. Do you want me to stop using my psychokinesis? No. Just a little more. I feel like I can do it with just a little more. He's either really persistent or really stubborn. I failed to lift it a single millimeter. 
Forgive me for wasting your time. Learning that workouts like this are unrealistic makes it not a waste. <laughs> That's harsh. It's going to be harder to reach my goal than I thought. Why are you in such a rush? You should have recognized that this was going to be impossible. I want to surpass my limits. You made me realize that the last time we talked. I was too caught up with having or not having my abilities. The important thing is what you do, not the method in which you do it. I guess I did say something like that. When I sat down and thought about what I wanted to do, a goal came to mind. However, the goal proved to be too big. Something I couldn't achieve without changing. What is it? To build a society in which duds are treated equally to others. Right now in New Himuka, people without abilities are treated like they don't even exist. That's true. I didn't even learn the term bell pepper until the other day. The reason I'm so scared of losing my abilities is because I'm well aware of the state of our society. If that doesn't change, then duds like me will never be rid of that underlying anxiety. You're right, that is a big goal. But I don't know how it relates to that reckless training we just did. I thought I could break through my psychological shell and grow as a person by surpassing the limits of my physical body. If I'm going to change the entire country by myself, then I can't stay the way I am. I need to work even harder. If I don't, I'll never be able to accomplish it. I mean, it may be too large of a goal for me to ever accomplish on my own either way. Yes, this might be a bigger problem than what you can fix on your own. But that doesn't mean it can't be accomplished. Kasane? Look. What are you doing? If you carry it with your psychokinesis, it eliminates the whole purpose of the workout. In that case, I think the workout is unreasonable to begin with. You certainly are right about that. What I'm trying to say is that this barbell is the same as the problem with society. <sighs> you don't need to try and take everything on by yourself. There's something each of us can do. Nobody can change a country by themselves. So why don't we just work together as a group? I see your point. But I don't know if I'm capable of inspiring people to act... like my brother. You remember what I said, but not what you said yourself. What? Those with strong wills naturally draw people to them. You said that. Right now, you have a clear goal and will. I'm sure there will be people who will help you if you asked. I see. I suppose I can't argue against myself. It seems like I misunderstood what I need to do. I thought I needed to become stronger without anyone's help. But really, I was just making excuses because I was afraid to try. Once you take the first step, I doubt you'll find it that hard. <laughs> Easier said than done. But you're correct. I can't just stand here forever. Once the fighting ends, I'll do what I can. I'll raise support as I face this nation's issues. Even if things don't change right away. One day duds like me will be able to live their lives in the open. Unashamed of who they are. I'll help you however I can too. Thank you very much. Then could you start by returning the barbell? I'd like to resume my workout. Okay, but you're not going to do anything reckless again, right? Of course not. I'll be doing my normal workout. The best way to exercise is to go at your own pace. You still put on all the weights, though. I said that I would not be reckless. Not that I would go easy. Here we go. You really are stubborn. But maybe that's what makes you who you are. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. It doesn't seem like he's listening. He's having too much fun. I'll leave him alone. Because of the way I look, people sometimes mistake me for a child. You've always treated me as an equal, though. I don't care how people look. It's good to not have prejudices. I'm grateful. Kasane, perfect. Do you want to come to Kikuchiba with me? Kikuchiba? What for? There's something I want to talk to you about. I thought we could change locations, like we did when we went to Mizuhagawa. That's fine. But don't worry about packing a lunch for us this time. I think it'll take too long. Let's just get going. Oh, 
Okay then. Let's head over to Kikuchiba. He looks like he wanted to make lunch for us. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? When was that? You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. I met him for Naomi's sake, and got the fountain pen for Captain Seto. Now neither of them are with us anymore. Back then, I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hello, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them, more than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you guys, but be careful just in case. Affirmative. What do you want to do? Let's split up. That'll be quicker. Okay. Then I'll take this side. I'll contact you again once I take down a few. All right. Let's both be careful. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Yuito? I can't hear you, Yuito. Haruka, do you know what's going on? Neither of them are responding. Our signal is being jammed. SAS is down too. I need to get through this somehow. Looks like I'm surrounded. I'll take care of them. Yuito! SAS still seems to be down. That still didn't do it? I need to watch him closely to sync up with him when the time is right. That was a close one. It was? I wasn't really all that worried. I assumed you would act when you did. <laughs> I was nervous. I guess we can work together even without SAS. I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else. Thank you for getting the timing right. <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you. You're always so harsh. Am I? Well, whatever. Let's make our way to the top. You get a good view of New Himuka from up here. So what did you want to talk to me about? I wanted to ask you about your plans after all the fighting is over. That's a difficult question. How about you? What are you thinking? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. 
I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be alright. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon... I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. My sister always watched over me. She protected me all my life. Now it's my turn to watch over someone else. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother, and the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kinda like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere, even going beyond the sky. I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. Wait, I have something I wanted to give you. Here, will you accept this? This is for me? This is an ear cuff. Did you make this? Yeah. This ear cuff always protected me, so I wanted to give you something that would protect you, too. Oh, it doesn't have any memory-saving functions, but it can act as a good luck charm. Or rather, a charm to protect your memories. 
Thank you. It's beautiful. I'll treasure it. I'm glad you like it. I just really wanted to give it to you. You've been someone I admire. Both an ally and a friend. I can't sum it up in just one word. What I can say about you, though, is that there isn't anyone like you. I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't have many friends who attempted to end your life. <laughs> you bring up a good point. Although, you did save my life when we first met. I guess that just happened for you, though. You mean when you were a child? I can't believe you remember my face from so many years ago. Yeah, I never forgot. I remember everything. It almost feels imprinted at this point. Something told me that this is the face of someone who would save me. That's how happy I was. It gives me strength whenever I think about it. It makes me believe that I have someone on my side out there. <sighs> and I want to be that person for you. That's what I want you to think of when you look at that ear cuff. No matter where you are or what it is you're going through, I will always be on your side. And you can count on that. Yes. I'll never forget that. Okay. Well, I gave you everything I wanted to. Let's head back to the hideout now. I'll go back a little later. You go on ahead. Ah, got it. Then I'll see you back at the hideout. Everything is so vast. The sky, the field. You can almost get lost in it. It's okay. I can do this. Wherever I am, even if I'm alone. Now, let's go. Hey, Kasane. Remember how I called you a lone wolf before? Now that I think about it, I was wrong. You're no lone wolf. You're the one carrying everyone. I feel like that's more your specialty. <laughs> really? I think you're pretty good at it yourself. All of us count on you, including me. I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito. Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the acting chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined. But it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. 
This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi Tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling... I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight. Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... Huh? Karin? As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fubuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe-in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh! I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fubuki can do all that instead. <laughs> you say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments... Ooh. <laughs> 
Stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right, she was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you alright? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much, nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. Where are we now? Doesn't seem like we're any closer. Just look at the size of this place. How are they generating something so huge? This brain field feels much larger than what a single psionic should be able to generate. Huh? What is that?
Seems like we finally got it. Do you think it's just a coincidence that the other we saw from his memory appeared? I heard that being inside a brain field for a long period of time will eventually manifest your emotions and memories. That makes sense if Karin is the one who made this field. That memory where he protected Alice must be affecting things. Then staying here any longer could be dangerous. Yes, we should hurry. It seems like the field goes on further ahead. Apparently, the extinction belt has dropped near the surface. This has never happened before. With all these others around, this is turning out to be a tough mission. What? Is that you? <sighs> Alice morphed into another after coming into contact with the Extinction Belt. I had no idea the Extinction Belt could drop that low and close to the surface. I've heard that it's a rare occurrence. I've never seen it drop that low myself. Hey, notice anything about that other? Yes. She was one of the ones who helped us fight alongside Naomi. I see. So that other really was her. Did you guys meet Aunt Alice? I think she's supposed to be in Ceyron's laboratory. We just figured it out now ourselves. Alice has already passed away. <sighs> if that's true... Then Karin used the red strings as soon as he found out about her death. Which means my brother is after... We'll know when we see him. There's no doubt that he's here. I know everyone has a lot of questions, but don't forget what we came here to do. We're here to get his help. Failed. Again. <laughs> I'm tired of my own incompetence. I failed to save her. Again. This history is unnecessary. If Arahabaki was right, I can just start over from the beginning again. As many times as I need to. Use the red strings for Alice. What was that? It's like Karin's thoughts were inside my head. So him going back in time was to save Alice. What does he mean by as many times as he needs to? And he mentions something about Arahabaki. Right. Even if he goes back to change the past, it doesn't necessarily mean Alice will be saved. The future is always uncertain. Once he determines he can't save her... He goes back to the past to change history all over again and repeats the process. So, he's going to keep jumping through time until Aunt Alice is saved? Wait. He time-traveled after that, right? But Alice is still dead at this time. He went back to the past, but history hasn't changed. So he failed? I've never seen my brother like that before. Do you think he'll listen to us? Either way, he's our only lead. We have to get him to cooperate. Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait, some kind of device is active here.
Giacomo, what's going on? There are two Karens? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arahabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. What? Did he just get absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us! We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... No! How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the Red Strings. Where did you even learn about the Red Strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Ara Habaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Ara Habaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field. It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Ara Habaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. Karin... So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. You will help me, even if I must break you to obtain your aid! No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin! Shut up! 
You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. You? <clears throat> Karin, please do not stand up. You can't take any more. <clears throat> Karin! I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Like you, I won't erase the proof of all the hard work my sister went through in her life. As long as I remember her, she will live on. That's why I'm not alone. Kasami! I'm on my way! Don't tell me they got you! Making everyone worried. Not like I was worried, though. Can you handle it? Yours truly has arrived. It's okay, I'll. Uh oh? Not done yet. 
time for stealth. Huh? Come on. Huh. Leave nothing. Not bad. Get lost. I made it in time. I won't let you. Current. Hey. Not too shabby, Kasane. I'll protect Kasane. Give it to me, Arashi. You corner it. Thank you for saving me. I should have guessed as much. I'm relieved to see you're okay. Now use our powers. We can't let my brother's plan succeed. Let's fight, Kasane! Not over yet. Keep going! Kasane, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm sorry I'm so late. You don't have to be so worried. I'm fine. Save the emotional reunions for later. I know how you feel. It's not a good one. How many times? <laughs> Run, youngster! Let's get rid of them. Please, Gamma. Just use it! It looks like I'm improved. I will never accept this world. Refuse to accept it. I made it. Thank goodness. Uh, Yuito. You're always saving my life, so I thought I should probably return the favor. Not like I was keeping track. But thank you. Do it. I'm never going to stop. Next time. Next time I will not fail! It's not just our power. It's all of our powers, working as a team. As one! Our bonds give us strength! in this world and it is denied to me give up you fought and lost we're done here you don't have to keep doing this Karin 
Yes, I do. I can still... Corin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! <laughs> Karin, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then, that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. There shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. Will Yuito and Kasane's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. 
We'll need to pull some strings in order to use our Habaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? Yuito? I'll be right there. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad Gate. <laughs> our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready, too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting our Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Arahabaki. Focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. I've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you! If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> Uh, you do! 
Hey! Corin! I can't give up. Not after all these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... to sacrifice... your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Karin! Karin, I... Beautiful. Does that mean... we... pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin... Yeah? That flood of red we saw everywhere... That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means... By traveling into the past, I wonder if we... ...changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it.
Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice... It's you... Wait... If you're here... Then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? Huh? I don't know him... Do I? I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Go for superstitious <laughs> stuff like that. Go on. Ooh, let me guess. Don't really this has like to do with stuff. Wait, I'm going to the job. Oh, well, yeah. I gave it my all. Sure. I guess I'll join you. Oh, Kasane! You're finally here! Sorry, am I late? It doesn't look like Major General Fubuki is here yet. Ugh, who does he think he is keeping me waiting? Ooh, maybe I'll take a nap.
It's not so bad for a loner like me. But for those of you with family and friends, it's tough to keep track of what changed and what didn't. The world left us behind. Saying it like that sounds pretty lonely. It's nice to have you guys to share these complicated feelings with, though. It's unfortunate that even though history was rewritten, Naomi and the others are still dead. Yeah, but she found a reason to live. I have to accept it and live myself. You are so strong. I have to keep working hard until I retire, too. That's so you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I guess people will say I'm a stick in the mud. Well, even if I've started to age, there should still be some time before my power starts to weaken. I plan to do all I can in the OSF until my superiors order me to retire. And after that... You're going to help create the new system, right? Yeah, Yuito said he wanted to change this country like I did. So I'm thinking I want to help him do that. I see. He must be happy about your support. You should think about treating him to your cooking sometime. I bet your skills have improved. Yeah, I've gotten pretty confident. I also expanded my repertoire. Although, I have to follow Naomi's recipes or ones I found on the cooking database. Besides, I started a new hobby. Sugumi is teaching me how to garden. Sounds like you're living life to the fullest. I'm sure you'll find even more hobbies at this rate. I guess you won't have anything to worry about when you finally retire. <laughs> that would be good. By the way, I heard you were participating in the Lunar Surface Survey Project. Yes, people are probably suffering there like my sister did. I was surprised when I first heard, but a part of me also understood. It was so like you, something really outside the box. I can't even imagine what challenges are waiting for you, but I'm sure you'll be able to get through them. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Go follow your heart. I'll be watching over you from down here. And I'll be watching over you from the moon. Karin traveling through time and Alice being alive. There has to be some sign of causality here. It's like an exaggerated butterfly effect. Trying to figure it out would be a waste of time. Frankly, it was a miracle. I hate saying something so illogical, though. What are you going to do? Me? I don't have any big plans. I'll just stay in the OSF and it'll be the same old, same old. I could just retire and sleep all day, but such a sudden lifestyle change sounds like a pain. Because you're worried about Major General Fubuki? Do you think I'd do something so illogical? Well, it's not like I don't plan to look in on him sometimes. I just don't want him to go messing around somewhere and have to go running to help him. That sounds like worrying. Well, you're free to interpret things that way if you want. Being stubborn will only expend needless energy. I want to increase the energy efficiency to coincide with Arashi version 2.1's official release. Now, if only I could put an end to keeping up that fake smile for the OSF's PR work. Oh, I want to go to the moon too. You heard I was going to the moon? Yeah, since I'm in charge of PR. Anyways, that's quite an idea, leaving Earth. I have trouble just leaving the house. However, that's an interesting viewpoint. I'm a little interested in space development, especially zero gravity. Just floating effortlessly and sipping soda out of a straw? That's the dream. Even with version 2.1, you're still the same old Arashi. Enough joking around, Kasane. You chose a pretty hard path. Just try your best and promise you'll come back safely. Okay, I promise. So will you be updated to your next version by the time I come back? Hmm. I didn't even think about it, but that's possible. I don't know what the future holds. Well, let's just say you'll have to wait and see when you come back.
Perhaps the reason we know that history has changed is because we were connected to you via SAS. Due to some effect of the Red String's power, we weren't affected by the change. Thanks to that, my brother will not be forgotten. Regardless of the outcome, I think that was good. You were worried about losing your power. Has anything changed? There is no change currently. Though I am sure that like Yuito, the possibility of losing my power is still present. I don't feel as uneasy or impatient as I did before though. And I did have you to listen to me. I'll do what I can now. I'll fulfill my duty as an OSF soldier and slowly change this country. A country where being a dud is in a disadvantage. Yes. Think of it as an offering to my brother's memory. I was suffering in secret, just like my brother. Worrying about what could happen because I was a dud. Should I say condolences about Karin? I haven't been able to really accept what's happened yet. Me neither. I'm still coming to terms with this new world. It's such a strange feeling. We're the only ones left from before the timeline change. You're right. The entire world changed without us. That's not something that happens every day. I once said that my brother is possessed by powers. Perhaps in the end, my brother was manipulated by the tremendous power of the Red Strings. Or perhaps my brother was happy to fulfill his wish using that power. I don't know, but he probably doesn't have any regrets. He doesn't seem like the type. Yes. That is how he was. I won't forget about Karin. Thank you. Karin talked to me a few times when I was a cadet. He was so nice, too. At the time, I wondered, why me? There's nothing special about me. I finally understand. It was because I looked so much like Aunt Alice. You know a lot about Seiron City. Right, Kasane? We should go sometime. I want to learn about cities other than Suo. Like what kind of people live there and the lives they lead. Sure. I don't know too much, but I can show you around. Thanks. So, when would be good? We should probably do it soon. Why? Well, I heard that you're joining the project that's going to the moon. Then you know. The planning and preparations will take time, so it's not like I'm leaving right away. I realized that you were going somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be the moon. I was just so surprised how far ahead you're thinking. I think it's a really amazing decision. It's not that amazing. I'm just doing what I want to. That's what makes it amazing! I mean, we're talking about the moon. It's really far away. Do you think it's reckless? No. I already told you before. I'll always have your back. No matter what path you decide to take. I mean, we're friends. Distance doesn't matter between friends. Even if it's from the Earth to the Moon. Thank you. I feel so much better knowing that you're cheering me on from Earth. And I'll be cheering you on from the Moon. I know you'll be able to tell Yuito how you- Ah! Don't say it out loud! Really? I think it's important. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, but if you say you're going to be cheering me on from the moon, I'll get embarrassed every time I look up at it. You're strange, Hanabi. What? That goes for you too. Even if it's just a little at a time, if we can reduce the number of others, then we'll be able to walk around outside more freely. I'm sure that there are lots of forests and fields of flowers I haven't seen in the world. Someday, I'd like to look for places like that. I bet there are plants I've never seen on the moon, too. That's probably true, but why? Are you planning to go to the moon? No, you. I heard you were going to the moon. Oh, so you knew. Not right away, but that's my plan. So, it's true. 
I won't be able to have tea and talk with you face to face once it happens. Can I ask why? Did you hear about metamorphosis happening on the moon? If people there are suffering like Naomi, I don't want to idly watch from the sidelines. I actually thought I wanted to go to the moon too. But when I talked to Kagura about it, he told me absolutely not. He really cares about you. I'm sure he's just worried. Yeah. But this whole time, I had regrets. I was shocked when Naomi transformed in front of me. I couldn't do anything. It's not like me going would change anything. And a change in environment really makes me anxious. But still... Still, you wanted to go to the moon to help someone. Yes. Besides, I'm also interested in moon vegetation. If you're serious about it, then you'll be able to convince Kagero. Besides, it'd be reassuring to have you come with me. It was so easy when we teamed up for my first training exercise back when I joined the OSF. Yes, it was easy for me too, because you were so confident for a rookie. I'm going to try to convince Kagero. I mean, I don't really need to. He should understand once he realizes I'm serious. Yes, let's go together. I'll help you collect moon plants. That would be great. I've seen many generations these past 2,000 years, but there hasn't been one quite as shocking as this. Well, I suppose it won't be that bad to be buried in this era. It looks like Togetsu's cryogenic sleep device has stopped too. So I guess that means I need to be awake and live. Well, I'm destined to go to prison. At least I'll have work to absorb me until then. Yeah, you should make up for what you did. I'm prepared for that. Anyway, I hear you're going to the moon? Yes. I suppose the moon is your home. Do you want to go back? Hmm. I don't think so. That feeling is gone. So, you don't have any connection to it now? That's complicated too. I linger over it sometimes. Like, I want to know what happened to my family. I know they're not alive anymore. There might not even be any trace of them. Even so, I want some clue. Maybe I want to see what kind of lives the two of them led, and what the moon is like now. Then you should come to the moon too. And abandon the responsibility of what I did here? <laughs> I can't do that. That's too selfish. You can come after you pay for your crimes. I'd feel reassured if I knew you were coming eventually. That's unexpected. Do you really rely on me that much? No, I just think Shin Daniel's knowledge would be useful. So, I'll be waiting for you on the moon. You can be surprisingly kind sometimes. I hope my Sugumi grew up to be like that. Your Sugumi? Oh right, I didn't tell you. Don't tell anyone. It's awkward. My daughter's name is Sugumi. Her hair was a lot like yours. I see. That's why you were so pushy about our date. I always wanted to go somewhere with my daughter when she was grown. Well, the only part of you that's like her is your hair. Because I'm sure my daughter grew up to be a much kinder, stronger, smarter, and well-behaved individual. Like our Sugumi? Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I was first drawn by her name, but that was just the start. I know she's not my daughter. I like our Sugumi for who she is. She's a really good girl. She'd be glad to know that. So, what are you going to do? Are you coming to the moon? I think I'll leave the preliminary surveying to you while I do my time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Fine, but I'll put you to work when you finally get there. You're gonna join the Lunar Surface Survey Project too, right Kasane? I wonder if my power will reach the moon. It probably won't though. I actually run an OSF fan site, so I want to post news about you on the moon. It's not just you though. I want to post updates and share with everyone on the net about all the people that go there from the OSF. I got it. 
What if you write some kind of lunar diary while you're there? Then we can turn it into a book. I'll help. I'm thinking of applying for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. There's so much drama hanging out with you. You're so eccentric. <laughs> I was only logistical support here, so I hope I get out there together with you on the moon. I like getting exercise. I'll have your back too. Let's do our best. It looks like the new Himuka government is dismantling the Togetsu faith. The design children there will probably be dealt with too, as they should be. I hope that the information Togetsu has can help this country's future. That also includes my knowledge. However, I think the moon is the best place for my knowledge to be put to use. Because you have Dr. Pope's knowledge? Yes. Also, Dr. Pope was from there. I hope I can use this knowledge to help the moon. These memories have given me a hard time. But if they can be of use, maybe they're worth it to pay my debts. Debts? It brought you so much grief. I think it'll be good to get revenge on the moon. <laughs> yes, but one of the reasons I was born was to carry on these memories. Also, lately I've started thinking that Dr. Pope's memories are a part of me too. Maybe I've had a change of heart. I see. I'm glad. It's thanks to you that I could think this way. Thank you for giving me a chance at a second life. You chose this life yourself. It's not like I created it for you. If you hadn't faced the Togetsu remnants with me, I'm sure I would still be a prisoner to my past. So I wanted to repay you. I mean, this is what I really wanted. I don't know if I'll get permission since I used to be a Togetsu spy. I put in a request to join the Lunar Surface Survey Project. If they allow me, I'll be able to look after you. I can take care of myself. No, I might have you help me with something other than cooking, if you want. Oh, that makes me so happy! I'll be sure to bring you plenty of charms! I thought that if history changed and Alice was alive, maybe Captain Seto was too. But we weren't so lucky. He's gone. I feel like I understood Karin just a little for a moment. But I wouldn't want to do the same thing. I heard you were going to the moon. Yes, that's right. How selfish. <laughs> I'll be glad to have you gone. You've had me running all over the place. What are you going to do, Shiden? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. I'm staying in the OSF, so they have to recognize my strength. I thought you'd stopped worrying about what other people think. <laughs> I'm not worried about what other people think. I want to have more of a voice in the OSF. The fighting between Seiron and Suo hasn't completely died down yet. The cities will need to continue improving their relationship. I don't want bloodthirsty idiots who don't know anything giving me orders. Well, you surprisingly put some thought into this. I figured you were only interested in making yourself stronger. Of course I still want to be stronger. But that won't be enough to beat you. I thought you were like me. But then you said you wanted to go to the moon. I've started to look at the big picture as well as the future because... I don't want to lose to you. That wasn't my intention, but it's good to have a broad perspective. Besides... You might finally gain the composure you need to lead a platoon. <laughs> You're looking down on me again. Ah oh, well. You should know that I'm going to beat you one of these days. Maybe not now, but one day. So you can't just leave without a rematch. Okay, we'll meet again. I, I, did, I didn't say I wanted to see you, but, but I'm also not saying I don't. Major General Fubuki is a little late. Maybe I should contact him. 
By the way, do you want to talk to the others? No, it's fine. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. All right, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, oh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Kasane. I heard that you're leaving. That you're going to the moon. Yes. It's something I've been thinking of ever since we heard about it in Togetsu. If the people there are suffering from metamorphosis, then there might be something I can do to help them. What if we can control the other particles by using New Himuka's metamorphosis technology? Wouldn't that be ironic? I'm glad to hear a lot of people will be helping you. Honestly, I half expected you to try to do it alone. I would if I had to. It won't be a problem. Even if I'm alone. Yeah, you're right. We're alone. Maybe that's just part of being alive. But we're still connected. No matter how far we go. Yuito, what'll you do now? I figure I'll stay in the OSF a little bit longer. After that... Who can say? I'd like to make a society where powers don't decide your fate. And I need to deal with my family's... actions. Changing the world is definitely... a tall order. I know it'll take more than just talk. Don't forget, we saved the world. We already did the hard part. That's why. It's up to you to protect this place. <sighs> right. I've got this. <laughs>